Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be giving you guys a FaceTime vlog. So if you're not familiar with a FaceTime vlog, for me at least, a FaceTime vlog is really just me not trying to perfect the video. I'm just kind of like free flowing. I'm just talking to y'all. You just follow me around. We just talk. If I mess up, girl I mess up. It's like we're on FaceTime. There's no editing on FaceTime. Even though I'm, I'm still gonna edit but you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. It's a more natural, you know, sister to sister, sister to brother kind of video. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so yes, good morning, girl. I just woke up. Not just woke up. I already spent my time with the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, amen. I'm finishing up my coffee right now. And as y'all can tell, I just brought up two boxes from downstairs. Yes, we've been living here for almost two months now. Have we been here for already two months? I don't know, girl. And I've been real slow with the unpacking. Okay. But I brought up two boxes just now because I want to go ahead and unpack the rest of my little bags. Y'all know I have a million little bags. I go to H&M and buy little bags all the time. It's hard not to because they're so cute. And then I brought up another box of clothing. So we got to figure out where, where the heck we're about to put these clothes at. Okay, girl. As you can tell, I have a new dresser in love with this dresser you guys this dresser holds so much clothing it is like a blessing and i got that from bob's furniture if y'all didn't know i did record it but i know not everybody sees every single video i also have a rack i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um it's next to my bed so i won't be doing a nightstand on that side i'm still not sure what i'm gonna do on this side because i still have more boxes to unpack so we'll see how storage is gonna work out Y'all know I got lots of stuff, okay? So we gotta utilize, ugh. we gotta utilize all of this space. But I do have a really cute rack over there and it's got clothes on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit more clothes on that, fit more clothes in here. And then my closet is a mess. But really today, I really wanna focus on cleaning my bathroom, cleaning my room, and then we'll see what happens after that. I do wanna do makeup, but as of lately, y'all, I've been getting myself together a lot more only because it does make me feel so much better and it does help my social anxiety like going out getting myself did up beforehand it just really helps me it helps me to feel more confident now I don't want to place my confidence in the makeup or nice clothes like I have to know that I'm beautiful and worth everything naturally but you get what I'm saying like if you do makeup and you like to get dressed up just to go out and do nothing you get it it just helps a little bit you know um, and I have been getting better at makeup. I'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures right now because I'm kind of proud of my makeup skills. I feel like they're getting better. Um, it's really all a journey. Um, so, of course, you're not going to be like an expert. And I'm still not an expert at makeup. But I definitely feel like I'm getting a lot better at makeup and I'm kind of proud of myself. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. I know it's been a while, y'all, but I am good. There's so many good things happening behind the scenes. So if your girl ever steps back and you're like, oh my gosh, where are you at? First of all, I know that it's a little bit unfair to you guys because I've been waiting on a talk it out podcast on Joyce Meyer's channel like and it really made me feel bad because I'm like I don't I don't really watch YouTube videos I'm not a big fan of like watching YouTube videos I do like to watch cleaning motivation videos those are like top tier because girl I've been needing motivation okay but I the other day I was like what the heck where is the next talk it out podcast because usually my favorite podcast my all-time favorite podcast is talk it out by Joyce Meyer's but it's a podcast with Jay Aaron Cluley and Ginger Stash Ginger Stashy? I'm not really sure. And Joyce Meyer. Sometimes I have like a little guest speaker. And they usually upload every other Tuesday. And I'm like, oh my gosh, where is the freaking podcast? Like, oh my gosh, I'm getting sad. And I was like, okay. That's probably how my girls are feeling right now. If there's things going on behind the scenes, whether it's good or bad, I try not to, you know, be too transparent. Because, you know, if you let people know everything about your life, they're going to feel like they can tell you what to do and how to do it and they just have way too much access to your personal life so i won't speak about what's going on behind the scenes girl it's all good and even when i feel like there's not too much to offer because you guys know i really like to help people like my channel that's cool and all i like to enjoy life and show you guys enjoying life but at the not at the at the root the root of it all is to help you guys. And if I sometimes I f if I feel like I don't have much to help with you guys, to help you guys at the moment, then I feel like I shouldn't record. But that's something the Lord is helping me get over. 
because at the end of the day you guys a lot of you guys just need me to show up be here for you guys how you guys have been here for me even when i'm not the most you know exciting and spunkiest whatever the heck if that's even a word i still need to be here and i always be feeling like you know when i'm handling business and i'm doing things behind the scenes and i'm <clears throat> you know handling life I'm not as exciting and I'm not as, you know, like energetic on camera, but that's okay because that's life. People don't need to be seeing people all excited and crazy energetic all the time because that's not how life is. So we'll work on that together, you guys, but I'm here, girl. And girl, we have tons of life updates. Um, I feel like I was talking about something beforehand and I think it might have been the boxes or something. I don't know. Hopefully I didn't like lose track. I'd be losing track of what I, what I say. And then I end up circling back to it because my mind runs like 100 miles per hour. Like I've always been that way. People used to try to tease me about how fast I talk, how I talk. But girl, this is me and there will never be another me. So I might as well just be me. Okay, but lots of life updates. First things first, my mom just had a birthday. Okay, she just turned 49. So go ahead and spam the comments with happy birthday mama T because my mama just had a birthday. Yes, ma'am she had the best birthday she has ever had in her life i like god told me this year like jesus was like seriously he was heavy on my heart about making sure she had an amazing birthday so what i did was i got her the new rev air i got her the rev air a couple years back she was like really wanting it so bad and if you don't know what the rev air is it's like a reverse technology hair dryer so it doesn't blow it sucks and it's like a tube well anyways they came out with a new one and girl, it's better. It's smaller. It's more convenient. And it's just all around better. And she's been wanting it. But I can tell she hasn't been like wanting to like talk about it too much because she don't want to be like, I want it, you know. So I went online and I got it for her. I got her the full package, like the full package, the one that comes with the bag, the comb, the hair sprayer, girl, just everything, the clips, everything, towel, and insurance. So that was the first gift I got her. And then I took her on a shopping spree. And then I got her a brand new SUV. And girl, when we drove it off the lot, 17 miles on it. 17 miles. And that's my mom's very first brand new car. Because, okay, so when my mom and my dad were together, they ended up getting a, um, why am I shaking? I need to eat. When my mom and my dad were together, we had this white van. And out of nowhere, it just start clonking out. And, my, and I remember my dad being like super concerned about it. So he finally said, we're not doing this no more. We're getting rid of that van. We're going to get a brand new Toyota Sienna. So we went to the shop and we got a brand new Toyota Sienna. It was actually a blessing because what happened was somebody customized that Toyota Sienna. So it had all this customized stuff. Last minute, they said, we don't want it. The paint was customized. It had sparkles in it. It was a gorgeous van. But it wasn't in my mom's name. It wasn't his mom's name. And you know, if they got into an argument or something happened, and when the divorce happened, he wanted that car. It was a whole mess. So it wasn't truly hers, but she was able to drive it for her kids. Um, so what happened was after that van, we didn't have transportation for forever. After my dad passed away, even after my dad passed away, like we didn't have transportation for forever, okay? My mom ended up finding a van at this one shop, and they were charging like a what, 4000 5, for it? My mom ended up talking them down to $2,000. So she got the van for $2,000 cash, okay? And she said she knew it was a gift from Jesus because when she was test driving it, <clears throat> when she was test driving it, she looked in, what, the rear view mirror and she seen two crosses on the back of the van. There was like taped crosses on the van. And she was like, are those crosses? And the guy was like, yeah, they're crosses. My mom was like, this is our van. We had that van for forever even in the beginning of my youtube channel that was the vehicle we had girl that mother trucker clunked out on us okay it just stopped working so with the money that i was making at that time i got my mom a dodge journey and so she's had that car well that car recently clunked out before we moved but i was like i don't want to get a car in lansing because my mama does not drive on the highway she has trauma on the highway she's gone through things on the highway so my mom does not drive the highway. So I was like, we'll move here and I'll get her a car. Well, for her birthday, I was like, might as well get her a car for her birthday. Take her shopping, let her get her red air, blah, blah, blah. But I might as well get her a car. So went to the shop, put a nice little down payment down on the car. And my mom was able to drive that car off the lot and it had 17 miles. So she's got a brand new, beautiful SUV girl. I'm so happy for her. Um, I feel good about myself and I feel more successful when my mom is doing good. That's just me. 
you know, I watched my mama struggle for so long. Like, I love to see her do good. I love to see her with nice things. And I also took her makeup shopping. Okay, so she got some nice little expensive makeup. And so I want her to start doing her stuff up too. Because she getting at that age where I don't want life to just be passing her by. I want her I want her to enjoy herself. She ain't got no little bitty kids no more. She ain't got to be babysitting all the time no more. She ain't got no abusive man in her life. Might as well enjoy your life. So... My mama gonna start enjoying her life. I'm very happy about that. I, um, we were at the shop. Ugh, don't get emotional, girl. <laughs> and I had to take Lockett to the vet, so I had to get back home. I picked up Lockett, went to the vet. Um, first of all, I can't believe how many compliments I got on my dog. They were like, oh my gosh, she is just gorgeous. Her eyelashes, she stands like a champ. And I got everything tested on her. Her red blood cells, white blood cells, li uh, liver, kidney, uh, I got her heart checked. I mean, I got her stool checked. I got everything checked on her and they're like, she's so healthy. Like whatever you're doing, keep it up because this dog is in great condition. She's gorgeous. She's sweet. Um, they, they, they took her out of the room. I'm not used to that because her usual vet that I take her to, which I wanted to keep that vet, but she really started to act funny and didn't want to answer my calls didn't want to answer my emails. Um, they don't take them they don't take her away from me, you know? And so this time they took her away from me. Girl, I was praying so hard and they got a camera in that room. I looked up, I'm like, mm-hmm, still gonna pray for my baby. I don't care. I don't know who y'all is and I just wanna make sure my baby's okay. So I was in there like shaking, like I'm like, is my baby okay? Because she's never away from me. The only person she's okay to be around that's a stranger, which is not really a stranger to her, is her groomer. So anyways, I took her to the vet. So by the time I got out of the vet, my mom was driving home. And there was a car in front of me, but I'm so used to seeing like nice cars out here because where we live now, girl, there's tons of nice cars. Like people is rich out here. There's like no poverty out here. Girl, I see a hand come out the window. I'm like, wait a minute, that's my mama. Yeah, I see that jewelry, girl. That's my mom. I started getting emotional because I'm seeing her in this beautiful car, pulling up to this beautiful home. And I just remember her being just down and out, just struggling, rubbing two pennies together, trying to make a way for us riding bikes in the winter, getting food from the corner store because we just didn't have transportation, we didn't have money, we didn't have anything. Going to food banks, thrift stores, trying to make a way. And I'm just grateful that Jesus has used me to bless my mom because, girl, she deserves it all. She deserves it all. She'd have been lied on, cheated on, beat on, everything. And she deserves every good thing in the world. Um, yeah. So that's a good update. Um, what else? Oh, I got my hair cut. My mom cut another inch off of my hair because we stra I straightened it for my birthday, for her birthday. <laughs> and the ends were feeling crispy. And I was like, no, because all this is all silky. And I'm like, I, girl, we got to cut it off. So we cut off another inch. That's another update. I took my nephew swimming and my necklace broke. So I got to get my necklace fixed again. What's, what other updates? I feel like there's more. I mean, they're like little updates, but like it's a life update. So yeah, I mean, everything is great. Life is looking up. I keep saying that, but it really is, you guys. I just got to start bringing y'all along with me a little bit more. We're happy as a family in here. It's awesome, you guys. It's awesome. And that's another thing why I got to tell y'all. Another thing I should tell y'all, I've already told you guys this before, but do not listen to what everybody tells you to do with your life. People was heavy on me about not moving in with my family, my fiance and I not moving in with my family. Like they were heavy on that. You're going backwards. You're reverting. You should not be doing that. You're going to be miserable. No. Jordan and I are flourishing like crazy living in here. Our family is becoming tighter. And if I wouldn't have done this, y'all wouldn't have had to pay the price. I would have had to pay the price for not moving in with my family like God told me to. Okay. It's just awesome, y'all. It's just, it's amazing. Life is great. And he's just teaching me like, girl, listen to me. My plan for your life is not the plan I have for their life. You are on a whole different journey. Stay in your lane. Because if you swerve off into that other lane, girl, you're going to crash. And you're not going to get to your destination. Keep on driving straight. Keep on driving straight. Keep on listening to me. Because if not, you're going to pay the price. All right? So anyways. I want to get started cleaning because I want to have enough time to get cute. I like getting cute, y'all. It's kind of fun. I used to not be a really big fan of makeup. As y'all know, I wasn't like a big fan of makeup. Um, I didn't really care for makeup. And growing up how I grew up, like makeup wasn't appropriate as a Christian, which is completely out of whack. That is the farthest from the truth. I think when it becomes a problem is when you don't believe that how Jesus made you is beautiful. 
You gotta know you're beautiful without that makeup. You gotta know that how he made you is gorge. Okay. So y'all see me without my eyelashes. You know what's weird is that Jordan, for the first time, like seeing me without eyelashes, because I, I always get my lash extensions done, even if there's just like two little lashes on my face, like you can still look different with that. And this dude loves it. Like, he's like, keep the lashes off. Like, I want to see your face. Like, you're gorgeous. Like, I love the way you look naturally. And my mom said, I'm talking about some, I can see my baby girl again. You look so pretty. Like, I like to see you like this. And I'm like, okay. So I can, you know, rock, rock my natural look, which I love. I would have never thought I would feel beautiful without my dark tan, my lashes. I'm loving my natural self. I am seriously, like, on a journey that I never thought I would be on, be like, before. What the heck? I don't know. And then, oh, another update. I got my first pimple. It's like a little pimple over here. I got my first pimple off of Accutane. And I was like, babe, I got my first pimple. I was like, girl, calm down. That is nothing. And then I remembered. My dermatologist straight up told me, like, hey, you going to go on Accutane? That's cool and everything. But after Accutane on your menstrual cycle, which I'm on right now, she was like, you're going to experience a pimple or two. It is what it is. So I got my first pimple. And I'm taking it pretty well, girl. It, look, look, if you have had severe cystic acne or severe acne period and you've gone on accutane like the anxiety that comes with getting pimples like you're scared like i'm i already know like if my acne tries it again i'm going right back on the pill right back on the accutane i'm not kidding i'm not kidding but i don't think that's gonna have to be the case i don't believe that that's what i'm gonna have to do but i'm saying if i if it ever does right back go on it right back go on it and i haven't really been using my topical that my dermatologist prescribes to me wait a minute did i hold on y'all I gotta make sure I change my address um, for my dermatologist to send me out my topical to this address because um, I haven't really been using the topical that she prescribed me because first of all, it's super sunny outside and I don't want any damage because it does have azelaic acid. Plus my skin is still pretty sensitive from Accutane so I don't want to keep exfoliating it because you know, azelaic acid exfoliates your skin. Let me make sure because if not, girl, gosh dang it, I had it sent to the wrong address. So. That's not looking too good. So that means maybe they'll forward it because I have my mail forwarded. Um, Because I have enough topical, like even if I have to still have two bottles, but I don't like that it was sent to the wrong address. Let me text her. Ooh, girl, I refuse to let things, you know, get on my nerves nowadays because look, it, it'll be the little things that will annoy you. But I have been having my, my mail has been getting forwarded. I'll wait for that email. It is what it is. Look. It's little things like that that I would be like really upset about but I'm not gonna let it make me upset I'll get it I'll figure out what the heck even if I have to drive back to Lansing and you know get it from the office it is what it is okay so what was I talking about y'all know I thank Jesus for everything so this is the update the package was actually delivered to my old address for some reason they did not forward that package my mom called USPS they went and got the package and now they're forwarding it which is perfect but had that not happened i would have never known that that cream was also supposed to be used to keep my skin clear after accutane so that is more information i just learned from my dermatologist she was like it's not just for your scars it is also for your acne i have customized it for your scars and to keep the acne away so girl scratch all of that i am using that cream yeah my first pimple after accutane i was like really nervous at first and then I was like well my dermatologist did tell me you know that would happen it is what it is um but I do want to start unpacking these boxes because girl I still have like eight more boxes to unpack and I'm moving really slow and I gotta get these boxes unpacked because we gotta start getting furniture in this house we gotta start making this house a home okay we've all been super busy with a lot of different things the guys work all the time my mom and I handle a lot of things. My puppies are a lot. I spend a lot more time with them now. When I feel lonely, I'd be like, oh, my little puppies, come here. And they'd be keeping me company, y'all. They're so sweet. Essence, she's still not all the way there yet. But you know what? I just got to be patient with her. It is what it is. Hopefully one day she gets it together. These are all, these are like the rest of my little bags I have. Like, isn't this one so cute? This is giving Barbie. I don't think I'm going to ever watch that Barbie movie because it looks stupid. I'm, I'm sorry, but it looks really cheesy. It looks really corny. This one's really not that cute, but it's kind of cute. This CK bag or Calvin Klein bag. So I'm going to put them over here because I have no more space on my perfume rack. I mean, perfume rack. On my purse rack. But on this cute um, rack I have on the side of it, 
they have holders like where I can put these bags at. So I might as well just start hanging them on the holder. Oh, on the holder. Just like that. Don't mind that. I have like plates and food down there. Yes, I, I eat in my bed. I know it's like a pet peeve for some people, but like I eat in my bed. It is what it is. I, I, I really enjoy it. So I'm going to start hanging these bags. Oh. Oh my gosh, it looks a mess, but it is what it is, you guys. I'm not getting rid of my bags. I love them. Man, this looks really cluttery. <laughs> this is one of my favorite bags in the world. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's super sparkly. It's super girly. And then this one as well. Kind of got bent, but it's cute. My camera had overheated, so I took the opportunity to go talk to my mom about my package. But I already knew that, but like, I just need to get my confirmation. You know what I mean? You know when you go to your mama just for confirmation because you know that she knows. Um, we've been getting our mail, our mail forwarded, so it'll be forwarded for the next year or so. I should be good. Um, This bag, girl. This used to be, girl, my one and only baby. This was like the first MK bag I was able to buy myself. And I bought it at like TJ Maxx or something. And I thought it was the cutest thing. I still think it's the cutest thing. I'll probably never get rid of this bag because this bag brought me a long way. I'm not sure if you guys remember me in this bag. Love it. And I had never seen nobody with the bag. And then I seen some girl had like a black one and I was like, okay. Still ain't seen nobody with my bag. Cause at the time I wanted to be like super unique. Like I was into like this unique thing where like I wanted to get things like, like nobody had. And I had never seen a bag like that. And I was like, girl, yes, okay. If I'm out of breath, girl, those flight of stairs are crazy. We have so many stairs. It's a workout going up and down these dang stairs, girl. So, once I get these bags done, I'm going to try to see if I can fit all of, like, the shirts and stuff that are in the bottom box into, onto that dang rack. The rack is super dope, though, because the rack, it's not like a square wrap it like curves and at the bottom it has two shelves so i have like two shelves worth of clothes down there and on the side i can put all those bags like it looks a little cluttered but girl i'm not worried about it i like to step out in style okay all right and i really should start doing like more like get ready with me's and style videos because i feel like it's not what you do it's about how you do it and a lot of Christians are like, they're so against, you know, looking nice and getting yourself together. They feel like it's worldly, it's prideful, it's not of God. I don't know. That's that's the weird stuff. The people that are um, way too religious are the ones that are usually doing the most toxic, vile, nasty things behind closed doors. The so perfect Christians are the ones you really got to worry about. I don't trust people like that. I watched that dang documentary, y'all. What is it called? Shiny Happy People about the 19 kids and counting family. That's just an example. That's why I ain't with all of that stuff. And like when I found out, like first of all, when I, like I told y'all, I attended um, a church growing up and they were like super heavy into no makeup, no jewelry. Your skirts have to be down to your ankles. If not, you are not allowed to like do anything in the church. You couldn't volunteer. You couldn't do anything. You're going to be shunned. You're going to be called all kind of names. You're going to be talked about. But when I found out what was really going on behind the scenes of a lot of those people's houses, in a lot of those people's houses, and as their kids grew up, they rebelled. I was like, oh, shoot, that ain't the life I want. I ain't trying to be that perfect, perfect Christian. Because, you know, like, when I when I was born again, okay, because, yeah, I was at that church, blah, 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 I knew the Lord. But especially after my dad passed away, when I tell y'all I, I was living for the devil 100%. I was doing things I had no business doing, skipping class, doing stuff with kids I had no business doing. The other kids, of course, I was a kid, too um running around with dangerous people getting into random people's cars like but um yeah i was doing something i had no business doing and then it just got to a point where i was so miserable i really hated myself i was guilty and i finally gave my life to the lord and i was born again and you know when you're a new christian like a new born again christian you're very judgmental you want to be perfect blah blah blah, blah. it's that new christian it's that new christian stuff um and so i was very judgmental in the beginning of my channel and i a lot of things were truth, but a lot of things were also a little bit too heavy. Now I know the character of God, and now I know that his all-time thing is to love. Yes, he has rules and he has boundaries. That ain't no joke. What the Bible says is what the Bible says. But when you just try to pull out random things the Bible does not say, but you're doing it because you feel holier than thou doing that, and you just love to, like, shun people, that's when it becomes a problem. And that's when I know Jesus isn't present, but the devil is present. So as long as you can wear those things, your braids, your jewelry, your makeup, your outfits, as long as those things aren't your beauty, you don't place your beauty in those things, you're all right. And I've seen too many hurt souls 
and too many hurt people in these churches because they were shunned or made to believe that they were evil because they liked certain things. You can like nails, that's okay. And that's another reason why I had to step back because, okay, I went back to that church and that's where I met Jordan. Um, I went back to that church and they tried it, they started it. Talking about my nails, you know, the pastor came up to me and was like, you have holes in your pants. I'm like, yeah, I do, okay? But that time when I went, I didn't cower down. I wore what I wanted, I said what I needed to say. And at that point, everybody was kind of following my lead but then when i got into a relationship with jordan i started to see that the males weren't too happy about that and i was like oh so all that preaching y'all do but a lot of you guys are lustful men one of them wished death on me he apologized don't get me wrong but he wished death on me he said he could not wait to see my name dead the older men in the church i'm talking in their 30s were coming up to me trying to flirt with me i said it's time for us to go jordan and we never went back. Church is beautiful. Church is a beautiful thing. But I think a lot of people place a lot of worth, like their worth in attending church on Sunday. This is an every single day thing. My relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is an every single day thing. I'm at church every single day in my room. You know what I'm saying? Also, churches are not the same as they used to be. If you know, you know. Okay, so I got some bags. I love this little bag. I love that. This one I haven't worn yet, but I got it for $10 at Walmart. It's cute. Um, Y'all know I'll get some cheap bags any day. Look, I ain't got no loose time. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna have a loose time because I want one. I want one. But I love my little bags, y'all. So let's go hang these up too. This is what I'm talking about, a FaceTime vlog. Because I just be talking and talking and talking and talking. You know, I just be talking and talking. This could be boring for some people, but I am pretty good at talking. So I guess I might as well just do a lot of talking. I got this little Versace bag for free from, buy from buying a bright crystal perfume off of Ulta but I like how many bags it's holding that's gorgeous that's awesome not gorgeous but it's awesome I'm not gonna focus on my closet today um only because I know that I'm not really into that today oh my gosh I remember this bag oh my gosh girl I think I wore this bag one time I believe it was only like one time girl I love this bag the chain is so heavy this is an easy peasy lemon squeezy bag. Okay. Let's see what else can fit over here because it's looking like we're running out of space. I don't know why I bought this backpack, but girl, I thought it was the cutest thing ever. I thought it was the cutest backpack ever. My brother bought me this fanny pack. I wanted this so bad years ago. And my little brother went and bought me this fanny pack. It is so cute. I remember being. I remember being so excited because I wanted it so bad and he went and got it for me. You know what? I'm gonna put some bags in this bag. Yes, I have lots of nice things and there's nothing wrong with having lots of nice things. Where did I buy this from? Urban Outfitters, girl. I forgot about this. I bought this at Urban Outfitters. It was originally $45, but I got it for $29.99. How cute. I bought it at Urban Outfitters. I haven't gone to Urban Outfitters in a minute because they, they stuff is just too expensive, girl. I like to buy affordable clothes. You can't go up in there without spending your whole bank account. Plus, when I look at their clothes on the racks and then I go to try it on, it don't look right on me. They stuff just does not fit me right. This big old Victoria's Secret bag. This is for like if I go on like a trip or something, I always keep the big bags for trips. I'm just gonna throw it in here. My closet's crazy, but I'm gonna handle that another day. This is a throw my grandma had got me. I'll put it in here as well. I gotta figure out where a lot of stuff is gonna go. I'm gonna figure it out one of these days. This is a fanny pack my mama bought me. I'll put it in this bag as well. Girl, I'm starting to feel a little hungry. So I'm gonna have to order some food, but nothing really sounds good. You know when you're hungry, like you know your body's hungry, but nothing sounds good. That's where I'm at right now. Right now, I could go for basically anything my mom would cook. Anything she would cook, but I won't eat anything else. That's where I'm at. But I won't tell her that. Then she'll feel super bad because she's got stuff to do. I love that though. I don't really have to like do as much cooking and as much cleaning anymore because we do it as a family. Where is change in here? What the? This box seems to be in pretty decent condition. The only thing that's really ripped is this part. So I'm gonna give this to my sister-in-law because my brother and my sister-in-law are moving and boxes are so expensive. All right, what's in here? Tons of clothing. Let's see what we can do. I need to start putting my bedding in the washer. 
But let's see what's in here. We've got some sweatpants. So what I'll do is I'll fold up all the pants, put them on my bed, and start putting them in my dresser. I'm hoping there's tons of pants because the pants were easier for me to store away. But like with hanging like the shirts and stuff, there's not as much hanging space anymore. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for these jeans. These are cute. Okay, sis, so off of camera, I went ahead and sorted out the clothing. So this is what I plan on hanging up. These are what I plan on donating. These pants, girl, I don't know what happened. Like, look at this. Look at what the heck is on these pants. What happened to these dang pants? I'm not sure. That's been happening a lot, though, with me unpacking. There's, like, random stains and, like, random damages to my clothes. I'm not sure, but I ain't got nobody to blame but myself. Okay. Um, over here, this is stuff I plan on, even shirts, I plan on putting away in my dressers. Um, all three of these. That's my little lockets pajamas. That's one of my dad's shirts. I have a towel. And then over here, I have, um, I have some swimsuits. So I have my swimsuit drawer. I love the swimsuit so much. First of all, you guys, they do not make swimsuits for actually swimming nowadays, you guys. When I went swimming, girl, the skirt that I had, it kept coming up. The top that I had, it kept trying to get pulled down. So I couldn't even really enjoy my swimming because I'm too worried about, like, covering up. And so I'm hoping this doesn't do that. I think one pieces are a little bit better for that. So hopefully this is going to work out. It's brand new. It's super cute. It is like literally adorable. It's a beautiful purple. Um, and then I found some shorts that I might want to wear today. I'm not really sure. I really love how these shorts fit me. So I pulled these out just in case I wanted to go ahead and wear those today. And then I found like two tank tops that I really like that I've been looking for. So I'm going to set those aside. So what I need to start doing is putting all of my hang up clothes on hangers. I just bought a brand new pack of hangers. So I've got some hangers to work with. I'm going to go ahead and put these all on hangers and try to make them fit on my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> my little rack. Right now, I'm watching, re-watching. I've literally watched every single Joyce Meyer podcast um, or Talk It Out podcast. And right now, I'm re-watching the When Friendship Isn't Easy. And they're basically just talking about, you know, being vulnerable with your friends. You know, that's really how bonds, you know, happen between friends. And, you know, I don't really have any girlfriends, but I do have my mom and I do have Jordan, my brothers and my family and stuff. So I definitely need to start being more vulnerable. I'm the kind of person that I don't like to talk about anything that I'm going through anything that's bothering me because I just feel like it gives somebody a one up on me but you do have to be vulnerable with the people that you know truly care for you um but you have to know who to be vulnerable with and who not to be vulnerable with um I did converse with a couple of people a couple years back when I was attending that a church and it was never really about me it was kind of always about their problems they never really asked me how are you how are you doing and i get it because you know i come across 100 percent put together i'm the type that's going to help you with absolutely everything but it was never really about me it was always about them and so i did step back especially when i found out that they were talking about me and um you can kind of get scarred from stuff like that to where you don't trust anybody but I definitely need to start being more vulnerable with my mom again and start being more vulnerable with my brothers because I know that who truly cares about me and who ain't gonna go about behind my back and talk about me is my brothers, my fiance, and my mom. And it's also very important because anything negative or anything bad comes from the enemy, all right? And a lot of the times, or no, all the time, he tries to get us to hush, hush. Silence is the devil's mouthpiece, okay? And if he can get us to hush and not talk to people, we'll never know that we're not the only ones dealing with it. Will never expose his lies and the attacks that he is using on you. So, it is actually very important um, to have a balance, you know, not talk too much. But it's also important to expose, you know, the enemy's lies that he is telling you and stuff like that. Um, I was reading a book one time and this lady said that her friend finally opened up about she had like feelings like her marriage was like beautiful like she loved her husband they had kids like they had everything that they wanted like they were in a good place in life but at work she started to feel these feelings and obviously it was temptation from the devil a lot of people don't understand that you can't follow every feeling that you feel you know every emotion that you feel those are not always valid those are not always real a lot of it's temptation from the devil and so she started to feel these feelings towards a guy at her job and she did not like it like it was like creeping her out like but she felt it and so she finally went to her girls group and she told all her friends what she had been feeling. 
she says she never felt that feeling again towards that guy like it was like never again and there were extreme boundaries after that because she exposed what the devil had been tormenting her with behind the scenes nobody knew but her so um i need to start allowing myself to be more vulnerable it's like i know that i'm supposed to be and then i kind of go back and i revert to be, being quiet and obviously that's because the devil's mad and he's like yeah you shouldn't have done that blah 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 but when you know somebody truly has your back you know somebody truly can give you some wisdom do it i've always been very silent about my issues like i was never the type of friend that talked about my issues like i always tell people with their issues i always talk to them about their stuff but i've never trusted anybody enough to tell them my business uh, because i never want anybody to have anything on me but it's a very toxic way of thinking and it is what it is and especially being you know a public figure i think it, it makes it even harder because People want to hear that you're not doing well, which is awesome that I have family because they're only going to try to help me. They don't want to hear that I'm doing bad. They want to help me. They want me to be vulnerable so that they can, you know, help me, like, you know, like, you know, how I've helped them in times, you know, I'm so quick to help everybody else, but sometimes I don't like to help myself. That's where I'm at. I love watching the podcast because I'm the type of person that I'll be talking while the TV's going. I'll be acting like I'm talking to my girls. Okay. Um, so yeah. Now, I think, like I said, there has to be boundaries. Like, I try to be as vulnerable as I can on my channel, but it comes to a point where, ah, I gotta shut my dang mouth. Because not everybody has my best interests, you know? And people like to twist your words um, as if they're perfect and as if they've said something and they've never gone back on it. You know what I mean? So, girl, my stomach is rumbling, but there's just nothing I'm hungry for. Let's see how these fit. Girl, I got a plate down here. Hold on. My room is a mess. All right, girl, I be pushing stuff back. We're gonna make room. We're gonna make room for these clothes, girl. I'm not playing. So I bought this dang wet. You're gonna fit as much as you possibly can. All right. Yeah, we fit in stuff, girl. Let me show y'all how cool this rack is. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on my Amazon storefront. And yes, I did put it together by myself. By myself, yes. This looks crazy, but I'm just grateful that they have some place to go. Look how cute this rack is. It has all this space. And then at the bottom, it's got these two like shelf looking things. And I put this whole entire thing together by myself, you guys. I asked Jesus to help me and like guide me to understand it. And he helped me and I got it done. Okay, so those are hung up. I think I'm just gonna fold this little shirt because why use a whole hanger for something that I can just fold up and put away? Wait, girl, I thought I had hung everything up. No, girl, I still got five more pieces. <laughs> I'm funny. And all right. Jesus is awesome. It's like, look it, you give your life to him, the very things that you lack in your life or you lack right now are going to be the very things in your life that you have abundance in so i'm like i'm gonna wash these pants hopefully the stain comes out but if not i guess i can just toss them even though i have the matching jacket that's annoying now this box i don't think it's in good enough condition to give but i will but i will um ask her if she wants it anyway they need as much boxes as possible you know they're packing up. They got to get to their new home. Very happy. All of my brothers seem to be doing very well. So I'm very happy about that. My brother just got back in the country. He has been acting in Budapest. And I am very proud of him. He just got back in the country. So we spent some time with him as well. Um, my brothers came up to come visit us and we all had a good time. I tried to feel really sick at the end. So I had to come lay down because also I was very sick for like a week. You guys, um, I probably should have mentioned that as well. I was very sick. So I really had no choice but to rest. I mean, I could barely stand up without feeling nauseous. My head was pounding. Like I, oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. I have this eucalyptus looking reef in here instead of my bathroom because I had Jordan put me up a cute mirror where this reef was and I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Like, doesn't this go so cute with this wood? How adorable. But I don't know where I'm even going to put it. I really don't because I don't want anything to look super tacky. Anyways, let's start putting these clothes away in the drawers. So I just jam packed them. I like literally put so much stuff in them because I'm going to make room. I'm going to make space 
for what I want. I really should stop buying clothes, but I know that when I see a nice piece, I'm going to have to. Plus, the other day, oh my gosh, I wore this cutest green outfit. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. Later on in the video, I wore the cutest green outfit. And I had to go into town to drop my nephew off, okay? I took him to go see his mom. And during that time, I, what, what was it, about, what, four hours? During that time, Jordan took me out. And um, he took me to Olive Garden, and my favorite soup is Zupa Toscana. I love Zupa, girl. But the grease in there from the sausage, girl, I didn't know it was about to stain my dang clothes. So I'm eating the soup, and I didn't know it was splashing on my shirt. I looked down. First of all, I had just bought this outfit. My mama picked it out. I had just bought this outfit. I'm literally obsessed with the dang outfit. It is the cutest outfit ever. I'm going to donate this because I don't really need that. I'll drop that off at the shoes and clothes box. But, uh, girl, I looked down and there's grease all over my outfit. I had just bought this outfit. I spent really good money on it. I really love it. It's super cute. I'm going to show you guys. Across the street is Target. So we had only got the soup. You know how you, you get to get super salad. And I'm like, babe, I said, when she brings out this food, get to go containers because we are leaving. I am going to Target. I am going to get some Dawn dish soap. I'm going to grab a different outfit. I'm going to get in the bathroom. I'm going to wash that shirt with some Dawn dish soap because the only thing that gets grease out is Dawn. Like heavy duty Dawn. Like that's what degreases. Okay. He went and got the dang uh, dish soap. I got an outfit. He went and paid for it. He met me at the bathroom. I changed my clothes. I got the shirt. I got the Dawn. I'm in the bathroom. Scrub a dub 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 Put it underneath the dryer. The stain was gone. Thank you, Lord. But I was freaking out. I'm like, no, please, because I bought this outfit like half an hour away from where I live now. And I'm like, I don't want to have to go back. Um, and it came out. Thank the Lord. But I had to buy a whole new outfit because my brand new outfit got messed up. I don't even know why I'm telling the story. Like, it's such a huge, big deal. But um, I was in the bathroom. <sighs> I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know where I stand is that it's, it's just gross to me and this lady comes in and she looks at me like why you keep looking at me why you keep looking at me what's going on girl she go in that bathroom the whole bathroom was fired up fired up I ran out of there like a sergeant I was scarred the smell was putrid I I actually will throw up with smells and that's nothing I'm joking about like I'm not gonna sit up here and play I will throw up Everything I ate, everything I drank, I personally cannot smell bad smells. I will throw up. I don't even like to smell my own number two. I'd be spraying, spraying, spraying and getting the heck out because I don't like bad smells. That is me. That is where I stand. If you like to go number two in public restrooms, hey, that's on you, bro. But I just think it is so gross. And we all have our pet peeves. And I cannot stand smelling somebody else's feces. Like, oh, oh my gosh. Girl, I had to run out of there. I just dried the rest of the shirt outside with my with my AC, but it got out and I was so happy. And you know, Jordan, he's the kind that's just like, everything's gonna be okay, like don't flip out, like we're just gonna pray about it and everything will be okay. And I'm like, no, we have to go now. So the lady packed our food up for us, which was the sweetest girl in the whole entire world. Oh my gosh, I loved her. She packed our food up and then Jordan and I just went to a park and we ate the rest of our food. He went to Dollar Tree, grabbed some utensils and we ate the rest of our food. It was a nice little day. He's been taking me out a lot more. It's so much fun. The other day I had a really hard day and he came home. I was doing my makeup. Just so happened to be doing my makeup. He was like, get up, get some cute clothes on. I'm taking you out. And he took me out. And he bought me like $200 worth of eyelashes. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm like into finding the best eyelashes right now. I went to Ulta and the lady was like, oh my gosh, swear to gosh, she said this. She was like, your lashes are to die for. She was like, I would literally trust you with my entire life just because your lashes. I'm like, thank you. I'm super picky with my lashes. And I bought a bunch of ugly lashes because I didn't know they were going to look that ugly. So now I'm learning what lashes I like. And so I was like, just buy me like a bunch of lashes. So he took me to Burlington and Ulta, which are my two favorite places to get eyelashes from. And, yeah, I cut them up and I put them on the bottom of my eyelid. And they look like lash extensions. So, yeah, yeah. Um, I also noticed that my eyelashes, girl, they're not really there anymore. I'm not sure what's going on. Like, after I got my, after all my lashes fell out, like my eyelash extensions, a lot of my real lashes started to fall out. They're not falling out anymore, but it's like for a minute they were just falling out. I'm like, what's going on? So, I... Um, my dermatologist prescribed me. I have two different dermatologists. My term, my dermatologist prescribed me 
a uh dang there's really no there's like no space um she prescribed me a serum for my eyelashes so i have pres a prescription um eyelash serum so that's really fun but it's looking like there's not really much space in these drawers okay this one has a good amount of space so it doesn't look like i can fit too much stuff in these drawers i'm gonna go in my closet and see how much space i have in the other dressers and then on my mom's birthday when i took her shopping she likes to shop with me and so she's like i want you to buy stuff too like it's just fun when we do it together so y'all know i got some stuff as well so i'm gonna go ahead and haul that stuff for you guys i got some really cute stuff she got some cute stuff and we just we just had a good time you guys we had such a good time it was super fun and then I'm glad we waited for Jordan to get out of work because he drove us and he carried all of our bags and he's the most patient guy in the world. He will never give us a hard time. He'll never complain. He's not a complainer. He's just such a positive person. Like, I don't care what that guy goes through. He's just so positive and he's faith filled and he just keeps pushing. And that's what I love about him. And I'm so grateful for him. I thank Jesus every single day that he sent me him. So yeah, I would have never thought him and I would have got together, but we did and after i got to know him i'm like okay he's that he's that dude like he is that guy like he's not going to flip out he's not gonna you know be abusive he's just that guy like he is that guy okay so i was actually able to fit the rest of the clothing in the dressers that are in my closet so that worked out um i'm actually gonna go ahead and start washing my sheets and my comforter i usually wash them separate but since i have less time to do my laundry because it's four of us here and we all have to share the washer i'm just gonna go ahead and throw those in together get them all smelling good yes ma'am i got all kind of stuff on my bed my bible study folder book my bible notepad candy highlighters pens apple watch girl everything once I put that stuff in the washer, I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning my bathroom because once my bathroom is clean, it makes me so much more motivated to clean the rest of what I need to get cleaned. I love a clean bathroom. Um, I should wash this thing as well. I never lay on it, but I should wash it way more than I actually do. Okay, got some towels. I need to wash my towels, girl. I got to get this laundry done ASAP. Because I do mine and Jordan's laundry. Jordan works so much. So I'll try to get as much as I can done with mine. And then I'll get started on his. Yes. Yeah. We do each other lots of favors. And I love to do his laundry. I love for his laundry to smell like how I want it to smell. So I like when he smells like laundry over cologne any day. But I actually prefer him wearing like perfumes. Like I love the Jimmy Choo Lou on him. And I love white musk on him. White musk smells so beautiful on him. Jovan white musk. Oh my gosh, I love that on him. So I pick out his fragrances and he loves every fragrance I pick out for him. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of cologne. It has to be like um, a certain, like, it has to be like a super light cologne. I don't like strong cologne. The only cologne I'm kind of obsessed with is the Sauvage by YSL. Is it by YSL? I'm pretty sure it's by YSL. Love that one love 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 that one so that's the only one i like on him he had got a sample one time of it and i was like oh my gosh you need to get a bottle of that asap because that is one of the most handsome fragrances i've ever smelled like handsome colognes i've ever smelled on you and i love stone by bath and body works love that on him as well so yeah let's go put these in the washer girl i have more clothes on the dryer what's happening oh my gosh okay throw my sheets in there and throw my comforter in there but since i'm washing my comforter and the sheets i won't be able to put bleach i usually bleach my comforter put about three scoops one two Mom, I'm going to use some of your pine saw because her laundry smells super good with this pine saw. So I'm just going to use a little bit of it or a lot. She puts um, purple pine saw in her clothing and her laundry and it smells super nice. So I'm going to do the same. Normal. No, not normal. We're actually going to do heavy. Heavy. Hot. Max. No second rinse. All right. 
We're in business, girl. Let's get this bathroom clean. Y'all, that mirror is so perfect in my bathroom. I'm obsessed with it. I do want to get a different tray or like, what do you call that? I'm not really sure. I do want to get a different one for the top of my toilet. I want to get like a wicker one because a wicker one is going to go so much cuter with this mirror. This mirror is so adorable, you guys. I'm obsessed. I had Jordan put it up for me last night. I bought it at Burlington for like 35 bucks. Super cute. Pretty darn affordable for that kind of mirror too because that was like 30 like 25 in itself and that thing is tiny so this is what my bathroom is looking like it is a complete mess i washed my hair yesterday so i have tons of hair in the shower mm -hmm. but girl my bathroom's coming together it's super cute it's super cute it's just a mess i have laundry to do everything just needs to be cleaned in here and then of course I will move on to my room, which honestly isn't too bad. Um, the only really bad part is probably that right there and then this right here because when I get ready, you guys, I make a complete mess. I don't even worry about like putting stuff back. So yeah, this is what my room is looking like. I wore those super cute shoes yesterday. I wore those shoes with these jeans. I had to buy these jeans that day. I told you guys that I got that grease on my clothing. Um, look how cute these jeans are. They're like super baggy jeans i got these at target and that's the front of the jeans like isn't that so adorable i love the style of those jeans they're like cute and baggy yeah yeah so i wore that with those shoes super cute anyway my nail just popped off it is what it is i've had them on for a very long time let's start like where should i start i'm gonna start with the shower so let's get started on the shower i'm gonna listen to a podcast while i am cleaning
Hey, girlfriend. Hey, girlfriend. All right. So the only thing I could think of that sounded really good to me is buffalo wild wings. And I, it's so weird because I actually hate barbecue. Like, I'm not a big fan of barbecue. But as of lately, I've been liking it. And I've always, like, hated it. Like, it's always been so gross to me. But I don't know if it's being with Jordan because he loves honey barbecue. I've kind of been addicted to the honey barbecue boneless chicken and the salt and vinegar fries. So I ordered some honey barbecue, a six piece boneless wing. And I ordered a regular salt and vinegar fry. Super yum. When I get done eating, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning the bathroom. I love a clean bathroom. Girl, it makes me feel so much better. I'm already feeling amazing just by cleaning my dang bathroom. Like it's so much motivation. Whew, all right. I hope y'all are enjoying this dang FaceTime vlog because I'm enjoying making it. Ooh, girl, my face is red. I get hot every single time I clean. I love the lights in this place because <clears throat> they're like theater lights, like they're in the ceiling. And I love that. Like, that is so awesome. Anyways, girl. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my food, enjoy my food, and I'm gonna get back to y'all. Girl, you ain't get my food. She is so clingy, Essence. And I wish I could have her upstairs all the time, but she still has potty accidents. She cries at the bottom of the stairs anywhere I go, whether I'm using the bathroom down here, whatever the heck, she's by my side 24 7. She cries when I'm away from her, but she knows she has to stay at the bottom of those stairs. Right. Look how cute she looks. Right, pumpkin. Why, right, little baby? They got groomed recently. They look so cute. Come on, come on. Look at you, pretty. Look at my pretty princesses. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look how cute. <laughs> All right, girl. Let's run this rinse cycle and get back to cleaning that bathroom. My favorite scent right now, y'all know I go back and forth from like Snuggle, Gain, Downy, everything. But my favorite right now is um, the Gain regular fabric softener. They used to have like a Gain Intense and a Downy Intense, but girl, they discontinued them all. I'm like, what happened? Were the sales not like doing well or what? Because, oh my gosh, I used to love those, but they discontinued them, it is what it is though. If you want to know how to run a rinse cycle on this kind of washer, since it doesn't have like a rinse button, what you have to do is turn it to drain and spin, drain and spin, and then over here, deep rinse. And as you can see, it's only going to do a rinse and spin. All right, girl. Y'all, look how adorable this wax warmer I got off of Amazon is. 
I'll put this on my Amazon storefront as well. It goes with my bathroom so amazing. And y'all know my favorite scent is the, one of my favorite scents is the Unstoppable Fresh Smell. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. I mop with it. I wipe down my shower with it or I scrub down my shower with it. I have one more wax melt here, but that's okay because I got a whole other packet. Girl, obsessed. I need to get to some kind of store today because... I need to get some more mopping solution. I need to get more household products. I gotta get creamer. So when Jordan gets out of work, hopefully I'll be ready by that time so we can just head up. So now that the bathroom floors are all mopped, I'm gonna wait for those to go ahead and dry. Once the comforter and the sheets are done with the rinse cycle, I'm gonna throw my white rugs in the washer and then I'll get started on my actual clothing laundry. But let's get started straightening up my room. I really should clean my makeup brushes as well because I wanted to do makeup but all of my makeup brushes are dirty. So we'll see how today goes. We will just see how today goes. But so far, so good. The bathroom is looking super amazing. It smells amazing. Everything is super clean. I am obsessed with my new bathroom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Today, your girl is listening to a lot of different sermons and podcasts because it's like when I try to film, the devil is so mad and that's how I know I'm doing something right because every single time I try to film he tries to instill anxiety in all these scared emotions I have people telling me every single day how much I have helped them in their life and I know these demons are mad so I need as much maybe my mom's home I'm not really sure so I need as much prayer as possible, y'all, because it's different when you're trying to help people serve the Lord Jesus Christ. Being a content creator, it already has its difficulties, but when you're a Christian content creator, it is that much crazier. And girl, I need your prayers because your prayers are powerful. I pray for you, you pray for me, girl. We in this together. We are sisters, we are friends. Unfortunately, we're not physically together, but we're virtually together.
So it doesn't look the best because my sheets and my comforter that I sleep with are not done. So I put my sheets, the white comforter, and then my decorative comforter on top, which is that. So once those are all dry, I'll be able to go ahead and make up my bed. Um, over here, I have some shopping bags. I'll go ahead and haul those things for you guys later on when I'm all ready. Yes, ma'am. Um, underneath there, I have some packages. I'm also going to go ahead and haul. Over here, my vanity is like full, you guys. I have so many things up here. I have my whey curl cream. I just bought a new one. I have my heat protectant because I really want to learn how to do my hair like with heat without damaging it. And that's why over here, I have the new Dyson Air Wrap. If you know, you know, I spent $600. What was it? $600 or $500? I'm pretty sure it was $600. So I got this new Dyson ear wrap for $600. So I bought some heat protectants as well to go ahead and protect my hair. So that's a heat protectant. That's a heat protectant. That also has heat protectant. And this has heat protectant in it. And this has heat protectant in it as well. My mom and I went to the Aveda store and I got this cherry almond softening leave-in conditioner. It smells so good. My hair smells amazing. Jordan will not stop talking about how good my hair smells. I got a whey leave-in conditioner and a volume spray. So I got those two for my hair. Um, and then the rest of that is... Um, nothing new but those are a couple of my new products i also had got the aveda um what do you call it shampoo shampoo and conditioner so i washed my hair with that as well and my hair smells so amazing right now you guys so i have the aveda shampoo shampoo and the aveda shampoo conditioner those smell amazing i try not to use like the cheaper shampoos on my hair because my hair gets so frizzy and it's not soft so i invest into the more expensive shampoos obviously olaplex is my most expensive but girl that stuff is so expensive i'm not using that every single time it's wash day um i put the plant down here i forgot to put it there and the bathroom is looking gorgeous and beautiful as y'all know i'm waiting for my rugs to get done with the rinse cycle so I can put them in the dryer but of course my bedding is also in the dryer what else oh yeah my little diffuser station over here super cute my room is smelling like eucalyptus okay girl and then I have my empties container so I can go ahead and do like an empties video because I've been emptying out some products all right your girl still has not finished her coffee I do that every single time I even drink coffee like I never finish it Jordan is like what is the point of you even drinking coffee if you're not gonna finish it like girl what's going on but I'm actually gonna go ahead and hop in the shower so that I can get ready so that by the time he gets out of work he can take me to Target I gotta get creamer I gotta get pine saw more mopping solution plugins girl I gotta get all this type of stuff and then I'm also gonna go ahead and haul all of that stuff then I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day spend some time with my fiance and then I'll head to bed I'm trying to start going to bed early because I really want to start getting up earlier. All right, girl. So I just got out of the shower. I am currently doing a little bit of makeup. My eyebrows, they look dark right now. But when I do the rest of my makeup, it actually looks really nice. So I'm not really going to go into detail on like my whole like makeup routine because I do plan on doing a get ready with me one of these days. So... So I'm not going to go too much into detail. I'm just going to kind of like talk to you guys as I do my makeup. But um, am I the only one that does not like foundation brushes? I like like beauty blender kind of like sponges. I need to pick up some more of these today, honestly. So let me put that on my list. Um, that dang pimple that I had that popped up on my menstrual cycle. When I tell you guys it's flat, I'm like, does Accutane make your pimples go away faster? Like after Accutane? beauty sponges girl i got a whole list plugins mop solution dish soap fabric softener creamer pine saw beauty sponges yes ma'am one of my new favorite things to shop for is makeup makeup is literally so fun like i wish i would have done this a long time ago but it's like you know jesus will literally work everything for your good hold on 
I always have to tweak my eyebrows throughout doing my makeup because sometimes they move around. They were looking crazy. Um, I'll fix that at the end. Jesus will bring great things out of things that you would never think he would bring out of. If that makes sense. I'm probably talking weird because when I'm focusing on something else, I just be rambling and saying weird stuff. But, um... Y'all know I started to wear like a BB cream because my acne was just really making me feel super insecure and I just did not want to show up on camera. Well, I started to do a little bit of makeup and I started to progress at it because I didn't really like how it looked at first. And now I think I'm pretty decent at makeup. I'm not going to lie, especially since I rarely do makeup like um, what a day or two ago I did makeup for two days in a row. That's because I had some business to handle and of course I like to feel extremely confident when I'm dealing with business or um, important things. I think makeup really does help with girl if you got to handle something and you need a little boost of confidence. I think makeup is awesome for stuff like that. I used to use an eyebrow brush but now I use pomade because it's more precise. I need to find somebody that's good at doing um, eyebrows because I really want to get my eyebrows done by somebody that really knows what they're doing. So I have to suck it up and get them threaded at like a bar. Like they have like brow bars, like where professional brow people are and stuff like that. I'll have to suck it up and do that. Um, I've never gotten my eyebrows threaded because I'm way too scared and I know it hurts extremely bad. Um, but I'll have to get over it. Anyways, what was I going to say? So that's what he brought out of it. He definitely brought a lot out of my acne um, and one of the things is makeup. I was always like against makeup. Um, I don't know why. I had like a lot of different reasons. I was also really stubborn about it and I wanted to like brag about natural beauty but you can have natural beauty and still do a little bit of makeup. Okay. Let me go open up my windows. I'm drinking on one of my brother's Coke Zeros because I need a little bit more caffeine. Your girl finally found um, a good foundation that matches my skin. But like I was saying, am I the only one that likes the sponges over the brushes? It's probably because I'm not like too deep into knowing how to do makeup like that yet. So I like the sponges, but I don't care. I will gladly say I'm an amateur. Like I said, one of my new favorite things to shop for is makeup it's so fun you guys it's so fun but what makes it kind of annoying is when you go into a place and you're asking questions and like they give you so much attitude it was even more annoying when i had acne but like even not like i cannot believe that some people like do not want to do their job i'm like i'm just strict i'm just asking a quick question like they're acting like i should obviously know that i went to sephora first of all it's weird how sephora employees are some of them are so freaking kind and some of them are so mean i'm like what's wrong with you like you don't have to work here um okay so this lady um she was actually one of the first people to help me find what was it that i needed she helped me find something i don't remember what it was but this was like when i was beginning makeup and she was really nice and then i went in there the other day and she was so rude and I think it's because my makeup looked really good. Maybe I'm just like being too prideful. But I'm just saying like, I think she was just like a little jealous. I don't know. I, just, I was just getting really jealous vibes. She just had the nastiest attitude. And I'm like, and she just kept looking at me. I'm like, um, I know my makeup looks good. And I don't know if you recognize me or not, but like you're just being disgusting at this point. She just gave me the nastiest attitude. So I finally like changed up the mood. and was like, how are you doing today? Like, how, what's going on? And she was like, you know, that's literally what she said, you know, I was like, work, you're just working. She was like, yeah, I'm just working. And it changed up the mood a little bit. And, you know, you got to just, you kind of like got to push past that because you never know what people are going through. But I just hate the hater vibes. I have enough haters in the world. Like, I don't know, maybe the Lord just guided me to do my makeup that day and it looked extra good. But like, you don't need to be mean. The nastiest attitude. And I don't like when they follow me around the store. Stop following me. I'm not stealing anything. Like... Y'all don't have to get better with that. Because, girl, I don't need to steal. Never have stolen a day in my life. Like, I have somebody in my family that, like, taught me how to steal. And, like, would steal while I was with them. And, like, my parents did not want me around this family member because, um, like, they were just such a bad influence around me growing up. Like, they just tried to get me to do the baddest things. Like, drink around their grown friends, grown men. But I only used to go around for my nephew. I used to just try to protect my nephew, so I used to just 
stay and just do what I had to do for my nephew, but I never fell into the trap. I refuse to. I've always had very big goals. Freak, I missed it. Girl, stop talking. Focus. I've always had really big goals. I just thank Jesus that he was always, like the Holy Spirit was always around telling me that is wrong. 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 Do not listen to that. And that's not even me trying to gossip about nobody. It's just my life story. Like, I think a lot of people think I hold hatred for people or I hold, like, all this anger towards people. No, like, people can lie on me all they want. That's fine. Like, I've, I've been, I'm lied on every single day, but I'm not upset. I'm not mad. When, like, kids are involved, cool. I can be a little upset, but uh, nobody's upset. Nobody's mad. I think a lot of people think I hold a lot of hatred and anger towards my dad, and I don't. I just state the facts. If I have a little attitude, that's how I talk, you know. Realistically, my dad did me dirty, but a lot of times he did me very well. Like, you know, <clears throat> he tried to protect me a lot of the time. And I know that when he was on drugs, that wasn't him, you know. It just sucks that he let he, that he was allowing them to use him like that. Like, I'm supposed to be your baby girl. And, like, you allow these things to come out of your mouth. Or you, you put me in situations. Like, I'm not going to lie. I remember at the end, like, my dad was really creepy. And I was watching my niece and my nephew. And this is when he didn't really have custody because he had put his hands on me. And um, I had like a, a mini concussion and um, um, I was over there and my mom let us see him. I remember my mom being like, "You, I want you to see your kids. And I remember I was going over there and he was okay at first, but then he did something and he was like extremely high. And I remember there being a park next to my grandpa's house or close to my grandpa's house. And my dad's friend was up there. And when I tell you, this was the creepiest thing. I remember being like, oh my gosh, my dad's like, he's not my dad anymore. He's not the same man that he used to be. My dad always tried to protect me, you know, from men. And I remember his friend asking to see me. And my dad came down the stairs at least five times back and forth from that park saying, my friend wants to see you. Come on, please. He wants to meet you. And I remember saying, no, no, I'm with my niece. I'm not doing it. He said, keep him here. You could just go up there. And I remember being so scared. Like, do not bring this man in here. Like, what are you getting ready to do? Like, what do you want to do? And my grandpa knew something was wrong. So I go upstairs and my grandpa was like, do you need to call your mom? And my grandpa was never on my mom's side. Like he was never, he was like, I'm so sorry this is happening. He said, I'm going to get him in rehab. It's going to stop. It's going to change. He said, I'm so sorry he's doing this to you guys. He said, call your mom. Go ahead. She'll come get you guys. I called my mom. She came and got us. And I remember my grandpa cussing my dad out in that kitchen because my dad fell forward and was, he just nodded off. And I remember my grandpa cussing him out and my grandpa when my grandpa got mad, his voice would rattle. He had a very deep, strong, scary voice. It didn't matter how old that man was. That man was scary. He scared me. I don't know, girl. And he was like, what is wrong with you? You finally get to see your effing kids and you're doing all of this stuff in front. What's wrong with you? And I remember him being so upset. Like he could not believe what he was seeing. And um, yeah, it was just bad. It was really bad. Anyways, like I said, I think a lot of people think I hold hatred. I think I definitely still have more forgiving to do, but I'm not mad at nobody, girl. I'm not mad at nobody, you know. My dad didn't have the easiest life either, and I think his dad needed to forgive himself for that as well. Because my dad's mom left him and went to California, and my dad had to care for his baby brother. And my dad was like a full-time dad as a little boy, and my, my grandpa was at work all the time. Well, you know, money would run short. And so my dad kind of got into the streets and started to do things that he shouldn't have done for money. Um... To the point where my dad had an apartment that he was doing stuff out of, if you get what I'm saying, dealing. At 16 years old, he had an apartment at 16. Got a connection with somebody. Like, my dad kind of had to fend for himself, um, and I think that his parents could never forgive themselves for that. My grandpa admitted in the end that he was wrong the entire time, and that my mom was really the one that, you know, was right the entire time. I think a lot of people try to try to start a mess and try to, like, predict how I'm feeling and just be like, girl, you need to do this and you need to do that. Please, you need to stop. Not everybody needs your advice. And look, people could say the same thing to me. Like, girl, you don't need to give so much advice. Hey, I'm just speaking. Like, if you don't want it, you don't have to, like, hear it. It doesn't apply to everybody, you know? This all stemmed from what? Me talking about Sephora people? They're just haters. Sephora people get on my nerves. The only time I really felt, like, super comfortable in Sephora was, like, this one time. I brought Locket in. And it was a sister in there. And she was like... Is that your dog? She said, ooh, baby, she well behaved. Oh my gosh, look at her. And I was like, yeah, she's well behaved, but she really wasn't. And I was like, Jesus, please do not let her start misbehaving in here. 
because she starts scratching her stroller. And then I finally accepted that my baby could not come with me everywhere. Now I go into stores and I'm like, no dogs. I'm like, this must have became a, an epidemic. <laughs> like people just bring their dogs in. What do I usually do? It's concealer. Oh, you know what? I bought a new concealer. I bought a setting spray because I've been using this one and it's garbage. It's cheap. It's trash. So I bought the new milk setting spray. Oh my gosh, my armpits are sweating. I need to go get some deodorant. And I bought a new NARS concealer in the shade vanilla. So my concealer has been creasing like crazy. The concealer I like to use, I told you I really wasn't going to go into detail. I just bought a new one. The concealer I use is NARS Vanilla, but I've been noticing lately my concealer has been creasing like crazy. And I think it's because I haven't been using setting powder. Because I was using lots of setting powder all throughout the day before I went on Accutane because my skin, you guys, it produces so much oil. It's crazy. Um, so I'm going to try today. This is the mini one. I'm gonna try today to, they said do it lightly, like do it slowly. Um, they said to build your concealer slow. I've never used a brush to do my concealer and I never will again. That's ugly. Where's my little mini blender? I like blenders y'all. They said to slowly build your concealer and then seal it in with a, um, what you gonna call it? Setting powder. And I never used to have issues with anything creasing when I used to use setting powder. So I'm really hoping it's the setting powder that's gonna help my creasing. Because I used to always use setting powder all throughout the day because my skin would just, the oil was just crazy. Like it would just cut straight through anything I ever used. So now I use more mattifying products, but I also have gone on Accutane, which has really helped the oil. And like I said, if I ever feel like my skin is really starting it again, I'm going to go right back on it. It's brutal. Don't get me wrong. I could cry thinking about how brutal it was. Your bones hurt 24-7. You kind of are kind of like hopeless because you, you deal with so many different emotional things. But like, I don't know. It just, I go in public and I feel so much better now because I don't have to like compare myself with everybody else. Like, oh my gosh, her skin's so pretty. And you know, the Lord had been telling me, telling me to go on Accutane for so long. But I just, I just keep kept thinking he was going to like pour a miracle down and my acne was just going to go away. But the fact of the matter is the miracle was right in my face. And like Accutane was like one of the best things that have ever happened to me. Okay, so I'll just do my concealer. I'll do some setting powder. And I'm just so grateful that Jesus has sent me a man that loves me so much. And that helps me with a lot of different things in my life. Like he speaks through Jordan so much and he uses Jordan so much to help me in this world. I'm so grateful for the mom that I have. And I know she's grateful that she had me. Only because, like, my mom has been lied on her entire life. And, like, I feel like she really needed somebody to have her back 100. And, like, I got my mom. Like, 100%. Like, you ain't just gonna be talking to my mama crazy and I'm not gonna be there for her. Like, I'm gonna always be there for her. And it's crazy how many demons have been after her since she was a kid. It's crazy how many things have happened to her since she was a little girl. And you know what? I think a lot of people don't try to understand their parents. Like, I'm sorry. I looked at a picture recently of my mom when she was a little girl. And I almost broke down and start, I almost broke down and start crying. Because, like, when you see your mama at your age, you're like, she's a human being. People think that they can just talk to the mom any kind of way and just abuse them any kind of way. And I don't like that. My mom is an awesome woman. And if my mom was everything that people try to call her, I would be honest about that. I'm honest about my dad. I would be honest about my mom. My mom is wonderful. She's never let me down. I'm not going to lie. Like, I know my mom is a true supporter. She's a true warrior. And she ain't never going to do nothing to harm nobody. But people, it's something about my mom that people hate to see her shine. People hate to see her happy. Like this new car situation, I know people are gonna be so mad. Like mad because my mama got something brand new. Mad, people gonna stay mad. Guess what? Because I'm the Lord's gonna keep on prospering me, and He's gonna keep on using me to bless my mom. Yes, watch, watch and see, watch and see. Okay, I'm gonna have to put glue on this eyebrow because, girl, you're not holding down. I'm trying to hurry a little bit because Jordan's gonna be home soon, which I'm so excited. I'll be missing him. He leaves so early. He gets up at like four, gets to work. Sometimes he works overtime, so sometimes he gets out late. And um, I'll be missing him, y'all. Jesus has given me everything I need. He has given me amazing siblings, an amazing future husband. 
He has given me an amazing mom. He gave me everything I need. And I just have to utilize it more. I gotta start opening up and talking a lot more about things I may not want to talk about. I gotta start being more vulnerable with my mom and my brothers and stuff like that because they really truly got my back like they really truly support me and they know exactly what to say to help me so I just have to use that you know it's like I want them to use it with me like I want them to come to me if they ever need to talk about something or they need something like you got to come to me man because I'm here you know we grew up together oh cute it's a brow brush in here you bought me these as well but my bronzer brush is Zetsy. I need to wash my brushes. Girl. I cannot be using dirty brushes. Girl, you already know you have acne prone skin. Stop playing around. Okay, these brows, I'm finna fight you because it's finna get bad. Um, bronzer. I think it's way too dark for me because I bought it like that. It is what it is. I also don't really know how to do bronzer. So don't judge me. Y'all help. I haven't used this bronzer in so long and I'm freaking up. What did I just do? I don't want to look like a oompy loompy like I used to. Don't get me wrong, the tan is beautiful, but I was overdoing it. Damaging my skin. I get microneedling done in about five and a half, oh, four and a half months. Mm -hmm. My mom and I are going to go ahead and do that because I have two lines on my forehead from tanning and I don't want that anymore. So I'm going to start getting like cosmetic, not cosmetic, I don't know. I'm going to start going to med spas and getting things done. Um, I think that's enough. Oh, my nose is itchy. Maybe a little bit more. I hate that saying YOLO. Yeah, you only live once. That's the whole entire point. You gotta make it through this lifetime so you can make it to heaven. You gotta do it the right way. You feel what I'm saying? You know what? I didn't even put foundation down here. Oh well. I'm lacking sleep. I'm gonna keep a positive better. Shit. Alright. So, I'm not good at eyeshadow. But I do what I can. Okay, so my baby just bought me some new eyeshadow brushes. So I will use the eyeshadow brushes she just bought me. <laughs> you know what I like about the newer generation? The newer girls and the newer guys that are getting married is that they don't really put too much emphasis on a real diamond ring. Okay, don't get me wrong. My, my diamonds are real, okay? But I've been going to the stores lately. This is going to sound like I'm a hater, but I swear to gosh, I'm not. I'm just, this is just facts. And like, this is only facts. I go into stores nowadays and these girls are engaged. And their rocks are looking like they're going to fall, like their hand's going to break. And my thing is, I know that it's only not, I know that it's not real because if your man could spend 30k on a ring, you wouldn't have to work. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not trying to be funny. Like, people are going to think, you're a hater. How do you know the ring is not real? Well, look it. I'm getting, ready, I'm getting ready to tell Jordan he can just get my band off of a fake website because who gives a crap at this point? I like that people ain't too worried about a real ring. I'm telling you, these rocks be this big on these fingers. And I'm like, if he could spend that much money on a ring, he would take you out of the work field. Okay, you would not have to work at these places. You would not have to work at these fashion places. You would not have to work at these places. That's not even me trying to be funny. I'm just saying facts. Shoot, if you could buy me a 30K ring, you still have me work. Yeah, you ain't supposed to be mine. Because I know if Jordan could buy me a 30K ring, he would not have me working. But I know that, like, with what I do, I would still want to work because, like, filming is it's pretty fun sometimes. Um, most of the time. Not gonna lie, I'm not always in the mood to film. Um, but this is what the Lord has called me to do. Um, and the only reason why I say it's not easy is only because, like, um, with the career that I have, these demons hate it. You gotta do what you're called to do because nobody is like you. So we ain't got time to be copying people, comparing ourselves to people. Why? Because you are you and there will never be another you and Jesus will never help you be anybody else. So yeah, I probably should have done concealer after my eyeshadow because I see my eyes are getting dark from this shadow. Like I said, I'm not the best at shadow, but uh, I try my hardest. I remember when I first started my channel, I was, oh, you know what's crazy? That's a lie. I said I was against makeup for all that time. No, I wasn't because I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I remember I was doing like eyeshadows and stuff. Let me tell you what happened. There was this lady named Trinity on Facebook. I had Facebook when I first started my channel, right? So I was trying to keep up with the crowd, the Lansing crowd. And I was watching her 
makeup videos all the time. She was so good and she was teaching me how to do makeup. Well, she had somebody on her lives that would block people if you had something bad to say. What happened was people got to talking crap about her in them, in them live things and I started tagging people going off on them. Like, girl, who do you think you are? Like, you better not come for her because you looking like blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm not going to lie. I was coming for people because don't come for her because she's such a sweet girl. Her name was Trinity. I think her name was Trinity J or something like that. She thought I was talking about her and she blocked me. After that, I just got discouraged and I never did makeup again. So Trinity, if you out there, I was not talking about you. I was defending you. Ugh. And it hurt my heart so bad. I was like, dang, really? And so I didn't want to make another account and be like desperate or anything. So I just gave it up. I just didn't really care to do makeup anymore. I just gave it up. But, hey. I was that type. Like, I have so many letters. I swear to gosh, y'all. I'm going to go through letters one day. And y'all are going to be like, wow, you was a G. I have so many letters from the grades that I was in growing up of people saying, thank you so much for defending me when nobody else did. I used to stand up for people all the time. That's why I'm so grateful when people be standing up for me because it does take heart to do so. It takes heart to put yourself out there and defend somebody instead of just sitting back and watching them hurt and be hated on because y'all don't ever know what somebody is close to doing to themselves. I'm being honest, like these demons almost talked me out of my life many of times. So you never know what somebody is going through. And I think it's sick that these people, they don't, people don't really care anymore about what people are going through. They just want to hurt you. And then when somebody takes their life, then it's, oh my gosh, what was happening? No, what was happening was you were bullying them. Okay, you were bullying them. I'm not with that bullying crap. And if I ever see somebody getting bullied, best believe. I don't care how big you are. I don't care what you looking like. It'll be a David and Goliath situation. I'll be David, you'll be Goliath. I'm not going to sit up here and play because Jesus loves people that defend people. And I, if I ever have children one day, which is in the Lord, I don't care. what Whatever the Lord got want me to do. I'm going to tell them, you got to be the one to stand up for people. Don't sit back. Don't be that one that just sits back. I'm not into that. Um, my eyeshadow ain't that cute, but we're gonna just call it a day. I love these makeup brushes he just bought me. I love when he takes me on a date. He takes me on at least a date a week. And he lets me go shopping. It makes me so happy. My camera's overheating. And if y'all wonder why my camera always overheats, it's the kind of camera I have. I really like my camera. If you guys have any suggestions of like better cameras, um, um, that you know of email me and let me know just title it camera suggestion i use the the sony zv1 um and it's the mode that i have it on like don't get me wrong you can make it so that it doesn't overheat but it's the mode that i have it on like the better the quality you set it to um then the more it's gonna overheat um and that's just kind of how it works with this camera so if you have any suggestions like girl like i do youtube too like this is the camera I like to use and it's really dope. I think the reason why I loved this camera so much is because my acne. And I'll see, I did some more concealer over here. I think that looks nice, right? I don't know. Um, I used this setting spray to like keep it moist. Um, but if you, what was I gonna say? Um, I liked it so much because I could have a filter. Like, of course I have a filter on my camera um, because my skin, like I've just, man, it's hard for me to show up when my skin looks the way it looks. Um, or has looked the way it has looked. It's still not perfect, but I'm grateful. So it just helped me to show up, you know, a lot of the time when I didn't want to. And it has really helped my career because that filter just, I don't know, just made me feel a lot better. But um, I definitely don't need to hide behind a filter my entire life. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. If you know of a camera that doesn't like overheat like that. Wait, this one looks better than this one. What's happening? No, I'm getting mad. I don't know how that works. <laughs> don't like wet it too much though, girl. Okay, I think I wet it too much. Okay, I think it worked. Um, I don't really know about setting spray, but I'm gonna try it today. I've never like sprayed setting spray all over my face. I've just used it like, to like wet my sponges, like re-wet them. Okay, I think I did better on Freak! My next door neighbor's a doctor. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that how much the Lord has moved us up that we live in near doctors and freaking scientists and junk? Mm, this one looks better. I'm gonna do a little mo. I'm gonna do a little mo. Cause I, what? I was waiting on you at the door. So I wouldn't let go. What's happening right now? My, my, my concealer's coming off. My concealer's coming off. Wait a minute. What am I doing wrong? I'm getting mad. 
I was right at the edge of a breakthrough but couldn't see. That's when everything feels wrong and everything feels like it's about to crumble. You're right at the at the edge of a breakthrough. You're at the threshold. Just can't see. Motherfucker! My makeup's coming off, you guys. What's happening? What the? Like, should I let it dry a little bit? And then do it? Like, I don't know. And, like, lightly tap it? I'm getting, cr I'm gonna cry. I really messed it up. I don't know what's happening though, guys. I'm getting upset. Where I was like, my makeup skills are like progressing. It's a lie. It's a freaking lie. I don't care. But I do. That's why it's bothering me because I really want this to look nice, but it's not coming through. I'm gonna come back to it. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. Ooh hurting myself on a box i'm a perfectionist i'm not gonna okay no i'm not i don't want to claim that i battle the spirit of perfectionism um and this is hard for me right now because i don't know what's happening with my concealer maybe my eyes are just telling me you need you just need sleep you're not gonna cut <laughs> i look like a clown okay you know what we're not gonna flip out about it i think i fixed it a little bit though oh well it's like when I get on camera, everything like crumbles. We're learning. I'm gonna figure out why. I need to do more research on makeup, seriously. I'm kind of looking like a clown underneath the eyes. We're gonna call it a day. Because this one doesn't have as much concealer like on my cheekbones. Maybe I should like, um... I'm looking like a... Guys, look. Like, it's not even. <sighs> okay, let's see. We're gonna put this under here. Talking awesome. I think she was jealous of my makeup. <laughs> no, she's probably critiquing it in her head. Like, girl, what are you doing? I could give you a couple tips. God's mercy held me close, so I wouldn't let go. You know what? I'm not gonna go crazy about this because I know, like, I'm just gonna go to Target. I'm literally doing my makeup to go to Target. And when I get back home, I'm just gonna wipe, wash it all off. Best way to get your makeup off is cleansing oil. Why oh why do you have to do me like that? Why oh why oh. <laughs> you know you're like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get upset and you're getting upset as you're saying it. Uh, same. This is not blended. Jordan's home. What time is it? Yeah, Jordan's home. Jordan's home. Jordan's home. Okay, now do I have to do my hair? Oh no! I'm gonna have to put a hat on. I'm not gonna play this game. I'm not gonna do this today. I'm not gonna do this. Okay, so I've got some lashes sitting out. I think I'm just gonna put those on. They're already pre cut, but at the same time, I kinda wanna put on some ones that Jordan just bought me so I can be like, babe, look at these. Jordan just bought me a million pair of lashes. So let's look at all the lashes he just bought me. Okay, so first he took me to Burlington and he bought me these individual lash extensions they're cute i like individuals because they're super easy if i'm wanting to stack my lashes or if i just don't feel like cutting too much he bought me this pack now i buy these big packs or i had him buy me these but i had bought a couple other big packs i get the big packs because sometimes they have like a perfect set of lashes in here in this particular set i only like the bottom four I like the bottom four. I don't like the top four, but I like the bottom four. Same thing with this. I only like this one, this one, this one, and like this one. The other ones are ugly, but I love the D curl on um, a couple of those. They're so beautiful. And then same with this one. Um, I love this one. These are my favorites in the whole entire world. Oh my gosh, I have to save those for my life. These ones, these ones, these ones. And those are kind of cute. Okay, these are all, all honestly kind of cute. Not all of them, but a lot of them are honestly super cute. So he got me this one. All those packs are $10.99, the big packs are. Um, super cheap at Burlington. And then I got these only because I really like... I like a good amount of these, actually. I got these. And I got this. Super cute. And then he bought my makeup brushes at Burlington, too. And then... I don't want to get makeup on my shirt. I have makeup on my hand. And then we went to Ulta, and he bought me two of these The Muse Impress eyelashes. I love the D-curl on them, you guys. In person, you have to see how curly they are. They're so pretty and long. The longer, the better. 
He got me these. These are called MLBB. It's called My Lash But Bolder. So I got these. These are like extensions, like like fake lash extensions. So I got these. These. I got these. He got me a bunch of them. I got these. They're like super long and I need to stack these. These are going to be stackable and they're going to be super cute stackable. These because they're super curly. These because they're super long. Some duo glue. I didn't put my primer on. Honestly because I'm trying to be cheap. Because it's really expensive but it helps with the pore. Like seeing your pores. You know what? I was going to put on some new lashes. I keep going back and forth but I'm just going to put on some ones I already have pre-cut. And then this will probably be the last time I use them because I've already worn them twice. They're my favorite set in the whole entire world. But since I bought them at Burlington, I'll probably never see them again. But let's put them on. So I just get some glue. I put it on the line, put it on the top because they're going to go underneath my actual lashes. And I let it dry for a little bit so it can become a little bit tacky. Tacky. What is one of the tackiest stores, you guys? I'd have to say like City Trends. You can find some cute stuff, but a lot of their stuff is just tacky. The emoji sweaters are out. Stop selling them. I remember when I got this dang emoji sweater and I was so upset because it had a stain on it. So we had to take it back and they had no other ones. Or it had a hole in it. That's what it was. And my friend had like the whole emoji outfit and I wanted at least like an emoji like something. You know what you guys? Let me tell you a story. So, first of all, these lashes look disgusting from underneath because I can see all the dried up glue. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to line them with some kind of like black eyeliner. I'll tell you guys a story. I recently bought another eyelash fan because I broke it and so I bought a new one. Let me see if the eyeliner is even going to help at this point because they've been used a million times. Um, I bought a eyelash fan. Threw it away. Mm-hmm. There was this hamper I didn't want. It was ugly. It's old. So I used it as a trash. Must have forgot that I was using it as a trash and I put the fan in there. Threw it away. So now I'm at the point where I feel like I don't deserve to buy a new fan because I feel like you threw it out. You ruined it for yourself. So I'm like punishing myself now buying myself a new eyelash fan. Which is so much easier to do my eyelashes like this if I had like an actual fan. But I threw it away. And I'm so mad at myself that I won't allow myself to buy myself a new fan. I know it's so stupid. It's the dumbest theory in the whole entire world. It, theory i don't even know if that's the right word but yeah that's where i'm at see already these lashes are super cute i love that they're long enough and they curl so they look really good so when i like a pair of lashes i keep them and i reuse them but i set i literally lay them out exactly how they're supposed to go on my eye i lay them out exactly how they're supposed to go because i make it that much easier on myself because cutting them and figuring out where i want them to go because i don't always put them exactly on how the eyelash is styled um sometimes i pull different lashes from different styles because they go together really pretty or i stack them like i just I don't know. So however I had those lashes, I stacked them that exact, I mean, I lay them out that exact way. But I'm going to buy myself a new eyelash, man. I'm not going to be mad at myself for forever. I beat myself up and I'm way too hard on myself. And Jordan always tells me stop being so freaking hard on your dang self. I be beating myself up over the tiniest things. A $10 eyelash fan I'm mad at myself about. Like, girl, $10. I mean, that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying. I mean, not nowadays with all this dang inflation. Oh my gosh, it looks disgusting because the dried up glue. I don't know, this is the last time I wear them. Okay, you're gonna get beat up. Babe! Is that you? Yeah. I knew it. I'm ordering myself a new fan. What? Yes, I'm not gonna be mad at myself anymore. That's anymore? Yeah. Ooh. I'm messing up my makeup, but I'm not mad. Looking good. Thank you. How was work, Betty? It was good. It wasn't bad. No, same old, same old. Essence did pretty good today. Good. I had a feeling she did. But she'd be acting like she's scared of Brent. Brent be like, she'd be acting like I'm like mean to her or something. Like he goes to pet her and she pees. And he's never even mean to her. Maybe smell like good. Yeah. Thank you. I cleaned. So my mom came up here too and was like, oh my gosh, girl, it smells so good. You know, that's good coming from her too with her level. Oh my gosh, my mom has like the that. my mom has the best smelling level. My mom like she's intense about her smells. Like she does not play that game. She has to always smell like good smells 24-7. And that's where I get it from. So yeah, this is what my lashes looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one and I'll be back. Girl, lashes make the biggest difference. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. Okay. This is the last time I'm gonna wear these lashes because I'm seeing that 
Definitely, I can see the glow. What is this little cheap mascara I got? I haven't seen this mascara ever. What is this? When did I buy this? It kind of look gooey. I'm gonna put it on this lash because this one's not as dark. Oh my gosh. I messed it up. I'm messing up. I think I did them out of order. So it's looking like I gotta cut some lashes. I think I screwed up the order because I was talking to Yip. Short on. You gonna get blessed with them lashes again. We gonna go back to that place and they gonna have them. I really hope so. One day. I believe so. I believe so. You know what? Let's just pray about it. Jesus, please bless me with these lashes. You know these are my favorite. And I just want you to bless me with them again. Jesus, you blessed me with them before. I believe that you can do it again. Ah! Oh! What's going on? My eyelashes are getting to my eye. You're a heifer lash. <laughs> Why have I been saying that word so much? Heifer? What does it even mean? Okay, so this lash isn't as good as this one, but I will. The Lord, has proved to me that he, the Lord has proved to me that he cares about the little things. And um, let me tell you something. So this chair that I'm in right now, y'all seen it earlier. It's like a cute like rattan, rattan chair. I'm not really sure, but it's that kind of vibe. And I prayed about it because it was in Burlington. And um, it was way too expensive, y'all. It was 80 something dollars. And y'all know I'm not trying to spend as much money on things like I used to. So I didn't buy it. And I prayed in the store. I, remember I was in the store. I said, watch. I said, watch Jesus. I thought he was going to bless me with a different chair. Um, I have to watch him get me a chair just like that or even better for a cheaper price because that's how he works. He wants me to save money. If I say no to this, he'll, he'll bless me with another one. I go to Burlington the other day. It's 40 bucks. Stop playing with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I like to, I like to, uh, my, eye, my eyes are creasing again. Stop! Jordan, I'm having the hardest time to do my makeup. Good, baby. It looks so good right oh now. Oh my gosh, no it does It is. <laughs> I'm really sad. Dang! It's like a black part on my face okay. from my under eyes, like not getting sleep. Jordan, they've seen the struggle today for real. Usually my makeup goes so smooth. I've been doing this for three hours. Jordan, I usually do it in no time nowadays, right? Yes, it's actually very fast. I thought you just started. Uh-uh. It's all right, though. So I like to line my eyes. Because I'm a rock star. Why do I make that ugly face every single time I line my eyes? It helps you concentrate. Ah! Babe. Okay, I usually do mascara on my bottom lashes, but I haven't been doing that lately because my I, my my freaking concealer has been creasing, so I've been having to dab my under eyes, and of course you cannot do that with mascara. Let me show you how I do my lips. So, this is what I do. I get this color. It is the NYX. I got this off of Amazon. It's a professional makeup lip pencil. It is the NYX lip pen lip pencil lip <laughs> lip pencil in espresso. I line my lops. Oh, say, can you see? <laughs> okay. Then I got this lipstick at Rite Aid. It is L'Oreal. What is it? Oh, L'Oreal 825 Bronzine. It smells like baby powder. So if your breath stink, I'm just playing. Where is... Thanks for these makeup brushes you got me. They've really been coming in clutch today. You're welcome. Yeah, they look nice. I like them those. Yeah. I'm messing up on camera. Boy, the dawn's early. I used to know the whole entire song. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoying, you guys. Let me tell you guys the story. Okay, so my dad used to be a, a wrestling coach, and he, like, ran stuff. And they needed somebody to sing the Pledge of Allegiance, whatever the heck. What is it called? Pledge of Allegiance? No, Pledge of Allegiance. I Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States oh, of America. my bad. The, uh, that's the... I don't know. Uh, 
the Star Spangled Banner. And I was like, Dad, I, I can sing it. I'm telling you, like, I really want to do it. Like, blah, blah, blah. My dad's going downstairs to the basement. He's doing laundry, and I'm following him. Oh, say can you. And I was like, listen to her, Brent. Listen to her. My dad's name was Brent. He's like, I'm listening to her. I'm listening to her. And he's, like, running away from me as I'm like, by the dance. And I'm, like, following him everywhere he goes singing this song. He's like, yeah, I'll talk to him about it. Never happened. Oh, my gosh. Never happened. So it seems to me that it might be this concealer and I just bought a whole new freaking bottle because the concealer is creasing worse than it's ever done before. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and man, it's like, what's going on with my makeup today? It's like today, it's really bad. Even like on my forehead, it's just not doing well today. It's like, it does, hmm. It's like my makeup's looking weird. Like my actual foundation is looking super weird today too. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this hat on. Yes, ma'am. Um, I always just pack eyelash glue just in case. I pack a tweezer. I'm gonna put a little bit of this in the middle of my lips. I pack away all my lip colors. I have to pack away this brush today because it's creasing so bad underneath my eyes today. It's like the powder made it worse. If you can suggest a concealer but at the same exact time, it's like not a concealer. Like the concealer that may work for you may not work for me. So I'm going to pack away all my lip colors. I put on Fenty, um, the darkest one. What is it? Cocoa? Hot cocoa? Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and pack the brush that I need to just go ahead and blend all my concealer. I would pack the beauty blender, but every single time I pat underneath my eyes with the eyeliner, it passes the eyeliner away and it gets it underneath my eyes. So I'm just going to pack this way. I'm going to pack the concealer just in case. I have all my lip colors. I just pack away everything just in case. I'm going to put some, uh, my earrings at. I'm going to wear some hoops today. I haven't been wearing big hoops lately. Like with this hat, it's looking like I need some bigger hoops. Okay. What fragrance am I going to wear? Let me get my nails on first. What we about to wear? What we, what we about to wear? What, 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 what we about to wear? What, 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 what about to wear? I will wear Juliet Has a Gun. And I will wear that with... Let me smell it. Okay. I'm going to wear that with... Victoria's Secret Tease Candy Noir. Noir. Juliet has a gun. If y'all know the backstory on this one, I'm so happy. I had got this for so cheap, you guys. It was the Lord. It was the Lord. It was on my $1,000 hygiene haul. Look it. I'm not about to be dealing with this all day because my concealer is really creasing really bad. <laughs> I got lots of learning to do with this makeup stuff y'all I should definitely do like a date night get ready with me baby it got tangled what's going on can you do this really delicately I don't know how it got tangled oh you smell good but stop playing you look good thank you okay I'm telling you I love like the gold looks on you thank you your earrings the chain on there they're different golds. Can you lift up the back of your hair real quick? No. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. You You're welcome. Thank you. Grab my white bag right there, please. I want to put on some more jewelry, but honestly, I'm just not going to. Because I'm not really trying to get, like, cute, cute. All I need to do is get some food and go to Target, come yeah. back home. I'm going to haul the rest of the stuff that I had bought. And uh, I'm going to bed, y'all. And I'm gonna get started on this video for y'all. I gotta go to bed early too. You going in early? Yeah. I got to this time. It's not notch. Really? Yeah. Well, we gotta get home then. Let's get this junk done. Give me yeah. some. Give me some food and uh, let's get home. How much more you got to do to get ready? Not a lot. Okay, cause I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. I'm about to take off. Okay, girl, let's go. I'll just run in the dryer one more time just to make sure when I come back, my comforter is not going to be wet. But girl, I'm loving this outfit. Okay. My jeans are like super baggy at the bottom, so y'all know. They're not like tight. I'm about to use the restroom and we are actually officially headed out. I don't know why, but like I've been craving the doubles, make doubles like crazy. But they don't ever put enough onion or mustard. I don't even like onion, but their onion, stop playing. But I like to put fries on my McDouble. That's why I'm getting a large fry. Let me tell y'all what they just did. 
So we were next to a person in line, right? They went forward. We're still at the mic. Somebody else comes after them. They take their order, then take our order. Chicken McNugget sauce policy. Four piece, one sauce. Six piece, one sauce. Ten piece, two sauces. Twenty piece, three sauces. <laughs> they got a sauce policy. What? Okay. Girl, yes. Okay. It's so weird because for a while I like hated McDonald's, but like occasionally I'd get my nuggets and it would be just so delicious. Well, now I don't know what it is, but I am just so obsessed with McDoubles with fries in it. Oh my gosh. Yes. They didn't put enough onion, but it's all right. It's okay. It is what it is. What it is. Mm. You stack your fries on now. Y'all gotta try it. I'm sorry, but if you ever had a McDouble, put fries on it. Ooh, I ate it in the fries. Hot fries, they be hurting so good. I know, I know. So good. And you just brush your teeth? Yeah. So your tongue sensitive? No, I'm saying because they're hot. But I'm saying. Oh, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. What am I talking about? Good. Mm -hmm. You should have put more mustard, but that's all right. You should put more mustard in it. All right. Mm -hmm. Man. I love it. I'm sorry, but it's weird that I love McDoubles with fries on it. I'm gonna have to drink some of your high C. There he is. Look it. Hold on. Look. Throw some out. Look at him. He's hungry. Ooh. He's tearing that up. Ooh, him was hungry. He tearing that up. Oh my gosh, here they come. No, I, ain't, I don't want no more coming now. So like I was telling you guys, um, my new Target has Ulta in it. So I picked up some goodies, you guys. I couldn't. Like, I had to get these. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and get some more of my favorite facial sponges. These are my faves. These are just the cheap little Real Techniques sponges. Love it. Gotta have it. I like darker colors on my lips for some reason. Like, lighter colors just do not look that good on me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this. What is this? A Milani lipstick. It is a matte lipstick. Now, I don't like matte, so I put like some kind of like gloss over it. My favorite gloss to use with a darker lipstick is the Hot Cocoa by Rihanna. All right, I'm actually gonna stop. So I've got my sponges, I've got a lipstick. I got this um, like natural Too Faced palette. It's gonna be my first Too Faced palette. I definitely wanna try more expensive shadow, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm not sure why my camera's being blurry. Um, I got this concealer because it looks like a pencil. I got a different primer because the primer that I have right now doesn't seem to do pretty, like doesn't seem to do well for my pores near my nose. And then I got this niacinamide serum because the topical, like I told you guys, has azelaic acid. It does have niacinamide, but this is just the azelaic acid and then the vitamin C, so it won't make my skin sensitive to the sun. I love how cheap these are, and I make so many solutions out of the Mr. Clean multi-surface cleaners, and they're good for mopping. I call them mopping solutions. Mm, that smells good. So I'm gonna get the pet one. It's only $3.49. The most expensive one is obviously my favorite, which is this one the unstoppables fresh and then it's gonna be between this one and then the gain moonlight breeze you got on my nose whoa go to my nose oh. <laughs> i'm getting high off of it I'm just gonna... oh my god it's kind of burning mm, i don't need either one i think two of those is fine i was gonna say if there's like a like an extravagant smell i'm gonna get it and then I'm gonna get two of these for laundry because my mom put me on, so we'll be able to share these. I said, Mom, I use some of your pine So she said, Girl, what's mine is yours, anyways. Uh. We have one of these, and then we just kind of like refill it with these ones because it's cheaper that way. So I'll grab one of these for the house, and let's get some gain fabric softener. I'll just grab one because I still have a full bottle. So put that in there. Thank you. I love that scent right now. I am literally obsessed, and it's way stronger than I remember. I get these for all over the house, like for the family, and then for my room. I just use the regular Glade one. They run out so fast, it's the weirdest thing. I'm like, I don't remember them going by this dang fast. Ooh, sheer vanilla ombre. Stop playing with me. Love it. Okay, so all I gotta get now is creamer. And we are out of here. We got everything we needed. It is so bright. I do not know what y'all are seeing, but your girl got her Starbucks. <laughs> Daily Starbucks. In and out, just like that, girl. That was one of the quickest Target trips I have ever had. Okay. I found that makeup so fast. I got what I wanted and caught it today. And I'm pretty sure that is my shade. It's like the exact shade that I had just got. The NARS one. Girl, that was expensive. And it's not because I went to Target expensive. It was because I went to the Ulta. Let's see. 
my total was $240. Just like that. But I went to Ulta, so I can't be mad. We got cleaning products and makeup. Yes, ma'am. It is so fun. I have fun doing my makeup today. It was getting annoying, but I had fun. It like, I don't know. It just gets me in a better mood for some reason. I would have never thought makeup would do that because I've never been like a makeup girl, but yes, ma'am. Mm. Girl, it's something about them, them strawberry aside lemonade. It's something about them. It's just like, it's an addiction every single day when he gets home from work i'm like um can we go to starbucks she really do she ain't lying i'd be like no nah, not today and she's like let's go today <laughs> today mm. Mm. okay so i'm gonna go home show y'all my makeup more into detail like the ones i just bought and then i'm gonna show you guys all my new clothes that i bought because like I told y'all, I took my mom on a shopping spree, but my mom did not want to shop by herself. So I bought stuff with her. So I bought some clothes. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the clothes that I bought. I'm not gonna try them on because I don't wanna get makeup on them. And then I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face. I'm gonna show y'all how I take off my makeup every single day. Not every single day. But every single time I take off my makeup, I take it off like this. I'll show y'all. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit out. Was there anything else I said I was gonna do? Uh, nothing to do me. Right. And then y'all can just look forward to my next video. I was telling them I want to do a date night get ready with me. Okay. So I think we should go to Dave and Buster's soon. Yeah, we can do that. That'd be mm -hmm. fun, girl. And we can eat and play. Yeah, that's the best. So when are you gonna take me? Eat, play. Shoot. It's whenever uh whenever we're both free for it. Whenever you're free, whenever you want to. That's weird because I bought this dang tripod because my other one was crooked and this one's crooked too. What's up with these tripods, guys? I'm gonna have to literally edit it to make it straight. That sucks, but it is what it is. I can't keep my room clean for nothing. There is just something about me and keeping a room clean. It just doesn't really work out, okay? Jordan's gonna go ahead and get my bedding out and then I'm gonna put my bathroom rugs, I bleached them mugs up. I'm gonna put those in a, a dryer. I'm gonna start washing his underwear because I guess he has like no clean underwear. So I gotta get started on his first actually, so. Anyways, like I told you guys, I got some makeup. Let me get a little closer to y'all. Oh my gosh, and I already had to return like this exact tripod because when it came, the dang leg was broke. So they have it super easy now where you return it, they send you out a new one. You take the package to Whole Foods, like Amazon return. They return it for you. They package it up for, they package it up for you. And it's that simple nowadays. So, well, that it's actually super easy to return stuff on Amazon. Okay, so like I told you guys, I got a um, Too Faced palette, and I got this because I'm very picky with my like facial colors, like the colors that I put on my face. Because not all colors go with me, and I'm gonna tell you right now, neons, bold colors, they do not go with my skin tone. They do not go with my face. So, I got this. How they be doing it? Like this? They be covering it up? Yeah, I used to watch makeup tutorials when I was younger. Look how adorable all those colors are. These are my kind of colors, the natural kind of colors. Okay, so I got that. So I got my very first Too Faced palette. This is gonna be really exciting doing makeup. It's a new thing I'm into, but it's really fun. And I would've never thought I would have so much fun doing makeup. I'm gonna get so much better, y'all, watch. I'm that type that I'm a very fast learner. So I have a primer i'll show y'all in a future video i have a primer right now it's like a one size primer it's in like a red and pink bottle but i've heard so many good things about the professional so it's like professional about the professional smoothing face primer and my pores right here first of all that's normal it is skin but i would like to have it look super smooth so i went ahead and bought the professionals um primer um i got those sponges like a Oh my gosh i was like who the heck is that Whoa. i got the mm, oh yeah he's gonna put my sheets on mm -hmm. i love when he's home because he helps me with the dogs with everything that i need to get help with i love it okay it's difficult with my two little dogs I, like y'all don't even know how much behind the scene work goes into my dogs they are mm -hmm. so clingy like it's not as clingy essence wants to be near me 24 7 so she'll be at the bottom of the stairs screaming she'll try to creep her way up i don't know what's up with essence lately but like we've been tight but she just been like a real for real mama's girl She's been underneath me 24-7. She loves you. Yeah, she Ooh, really does. 
Let's lock it. You know the different hardness noises. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I got a Milani dark lipstick. I cannot wait to try this out because I like dark colors. I just do. They're very cute. No, this outfit is not from Target, but like I told you guys what happened the other day with the soup and the grease. <sighs> Babe, what, what we do? Instantly went to Target. Exactly. We got it done though. We got it done though. We got, I had to rush out of that bathroom though because that smell was wild. It was like, it was like out of the <laughs> zoo. I couldn't believe the smells. Oh, she didn't look like she was going to drop low like that. Okay, let me show y'all this outfit because this outfit is too cute. So I wore this outfit the other day. This is the top. Okay, this is the skirt. I want to rewear this for, does it have perfume on it? I want to rewear this for our date night, babe. You could. It's so I'm going to wash it because I really want to wear it for date night. This is the skirt. It cinched up at the, at the side. It's super cute, y'all. That's the skirt. It goes right with that shirt. And then if I get cold, I put my jacket on. And the jacket cinches around the waist. This outfit gives Chanel. Do not come for me, girl, because this is giving Chanel. Oh my gosh, I got this from H&M. It was a little pricey, but girl, this is the top. This is giving Chanel. Stop kidding. This is the skirt, you guys. I got to figure out what kind of shirt I'm going to wear underneath it. So it'll be between that green outfit and this outfit for date night. What else did I get from Target? Oh, shoot. I got some buffalo wild wings, garlic parmesan sauce, because I want to make like some little chicken bites um, tossed and some garlic parmesan. Um, I always do eucalyptus, and I don't really like the peppermint too much or the citrus. The citrus smells disgusting. It smells like wet dog. I hate it. So I got some lavender aromatherapy essential oil. I'll go ahead and put that over there with my little essential oil collection. Y'all know I like to smell good from all angles, okay? I like to have wax melts going, plug-ins going. I can't do candles no more. So I like to do my little essential oils, girl. I'm gonna find out so much more stuff I'm not playing, okay? These are my favorite pants from Target. I love them. They're like yoga pants. They're like yoga sweatpants. They're way too big when I put them on at first, but then when I dry them, like when I wash them and dry them they're super cute so i love these pants y'all i already wore this skirt but i knew i was gonna want to haul it so i just went ahead and put it right back in the bag i got another cargo looking skirt super cute y'all i've been obsessed with these dang skirts they're classy they're cute but they're stylish okay i'm trying to get into a more classy stylish look all right and then i got this jacket as y'all can tell it's giving like butterfly a little bit it is super adorable i love jackets like this i'm not sure why i'm buying like hot clothing but they got all this cute hot clothing out and by hot i mean like it's gonna get you hot in the summer like it's like fall clothing i've worn this jacket every single day for the past week i have not washed it it is the weirdest thing have i not worn this every single day you have but it's nice though it doesn't stink though i never stink so not at all. I got this jacket on the back. It says Speedway Racers, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, Speedway, Speedway Champs. Champs. My fault. Speedway just... Champs Vancouver Racing Association. And then it has that little Speedway Champs right there. And it's oversized. It's so cute. I've been wearing it every single day when I take the dogs out, like everything. I already showed you guys everything that I got from Aveda except for the oil. So y'all know I got the Shampure hair conditioner and hair shampoo, but I also got the Shampure composition oil. You can use this in your bath, in your scalp, and on your body. This stuff smells divine. And she also gave me another one for free. I love her. Thank you, girl. And she gave me a bunch of samples. So Aveda is, I'm telling you, y'all, that Shampure, it is addicting. Like, it is like, um, okay, the other stuff that I got from my choice degree, I'm not even gonna act awkward because it's normal. Women wear bras, women wear underwear, men wear underwear. It is it is what it is, okay? I got some bras, you guys. So the reason why I wanted to go ahead and get bras is because every single time I get in the store, if I am wearing a sports bra, you can see through my shirt if I get cold, if you know what I mean. I don't like that. So right now I am wearing an actual bra. Y'all know I haven't worn bras in years. I wear sports bras, I don't wear wired bras. But I finally said I need to because it's actually becoming inappropriate when I get in the stores and you can see straight through my shirts. So I got a black one, I got a gray one, and I got a polka dot one. Yes, ma'am. So I got some bras, y'all. I have not worn bras in years. I finally got fitted for the right size. I am super excited about that. I got this cute little pajama set because when I was sick, I was sweating out my pajamas every single night, okay? So I got this cute little pajama set. I've already worn it. It still has a tag on it, but I wore it for three nights in a row because it kept me cool. So this is the shorts. It, has, it says Victoria's Secret all over it. And this is the top that goes with it. It's super cute. It's dirty, but... I went ahead and put it back in the bag because it probably has sweat all over it. Went ahead and put it back in the bag because I knew I was going to want to go ahead and haul it. And then last but not least, my mom and I got matching outfits. She got a gray one and a blue one, like a light baby blue one. And I got a cream one. So, 
here's the pants and they're like bell bottoms oh my gosh my camera just died hurry up hurry up they're like like they flare at the bottom they cinch at the waist and it comes with not comes with they're two separate pieces an oversized hoodie y'all gonna see all of these outfits on me soon but that is my complete haul okay i was gonna show the packages but we'll do that in another video okay now what is how it's a little dirty now I'm gonna go ahead and start washing off this makeup. Jordan Taco Mall some. Ooh, that's a nice tripod. I said, yeah, it's a nice tripod, but I bought it because the other one was crooked and this one's crooked too. He said, yeah, well, it's crooked because he didn't tighten it all the way. So he actually fixed my tripod. Thank you, Jordan. Okay. I tried to like put it together this morning. I thought I had did it perfectly, but girl, I guess not. Mm -hmm. The next hairstyle I do is gotta be a slick hairstyle because it ain't nothing gonna fix this hair. I'm gonna have to slick it back. Okay. It's cute with my little hair piece out. Okay, girl. I'm gonna put my headband on so I can keep my little pieces out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I remove my makeup. Of course, I remove it with an oil, which is the best way to go. A cleansing oil, of course, and then I'll go in with a regular cleanser. Now, if I wasn't wearing makeup, I would just do the cleansing oil because my skin is obviously super oily. That's why my... Why, that's why I had so much acne. Um, but my dermatologist, of course, she told me to manipulate my skin. So she told me, don't use all those foamy cleansers all the time. Use a cleansing oil. So let me go ahead and show you all my favorite cleansing oil. First of all, let me wash my hands. Let me wash my hands real fast, y'all. When you're using a cleansing oil, you obviously want to go ahead and dry your hands because you don't want it to emulsify. The cool thing with cleansing oils is it doesn't make your skin oily because they emulsify. So... That's the awesome part. Okay, my current favorite cleansing oil, I got this at Target. It is the DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. I love this because my skin does not feel oily or too moisturized after I get done washing it. Y'all like my PJ set, I've been finding all my cute pajama sets that I had got at like some semi-annual sales a couple years back from Victoria's Secret. I get my cleansing oil, I get about three pumps. Not full pumps, but like half pumps, so. And then, Wait a minute, I ain't gonna take my lashes off. So like I told y'all, this is gonna be the last time I wear my lashes. So I'm just gonna take them right off, put them straight in the trash. And then I just work my makeup off. Work it off, work it off. And y'all see how it just melts it away. It's also good to wash your face with the cleansing oil at night time because it breaks down that sunscreen as well. And sunscreen isn't the easiest to break down but cleansing oils do that so i am wearing eyeliner so of course i'm gonna go ahead and try to work my eyes and then if needed i'll get some micellar water and go across my water line but i honestly just work it in my skin for a long time just to break it all down i'm gonna get that water going so it's easy for me to just wash it off when i need to now i'm gonna rinse all this off y'all know i'm pale so my face gets super red now I'm just going to go in. I cannot find my CeraVe cleanser, which is weird. Where is my cleanser? So I'm just going to go ahead and use this Vanny Cream cleanser. So I'm going to use a foaming cleanser. I don't like to use stripping foaming cleansers. So this one doesn't strip my skin. But it does get foamy. And that is how I take off my makeup tonight. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with this niacinamide serum and a regular, or um, the lotion I've been using that my dermatologist suggested to me. Mmm. I like that it's not sticky. Like a lot of other niacinamide serums are sticky. Put that all over. I like that it's super lightweight. Okay. Love that. Does anybody agree that their face looks the best when they first wake up in the morning? Because there's no inflammation, there's no redness. Girl, I love it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse off my hands because I don't want like any irritants on my eyes. Like I don't know if niacinamide does or that vitamin C. So I'm gonna rinse off my hands and then put the moisturizer on and around my eyes. Okay, and then I'm gonna let that dry on my eyes. And this is the time that I just wait for my skin to calm down, all the redness. I wait for it all to calm down. It already is starting. I love y'all. God bless you all. And she's the same. Man, it's time for your girl to go. It's time for your girl to go. Mm -hmm.